Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Undead Legacy mod. So if I sound a little bit tired, I do apologize. I went for the uh, crown today, or rather they cut the tooth and put a temporary um, tooth in while I'm waiting for the crown. And yeah, my mouth was open for like an hour, and so uh, just talking already is, I'm, I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, just want to make sure everything is working fine. Mouth was open. Oh, there you go. We need to go to the wasteland today and go mining because we need a lot of titanium now that we can actually make titanium. Uh, wait, no, why did, I, why did I say that? I need to pin. It's pinned. It seems to be working fine. And let's go. But yeah, okay. So I need to go to the wasteland and we need to get some titanium. Uh, we do have the turret on us and some ammo because I want to try and use that as a defense when something attacks us. I uh, don't think it's going to work that well at defending us, but hey, at least it's something in between us and the enemy. And he's my vehicle. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if we should... Yeah, let's just take the SUV with us. So what we're going to do is just quickly open this up and take the mods out. Put the mods inside the vehicle over there and then just go to the wasteland. We'll probably make sure we kill any vault... Oh, vultures. Any scorpions and stuff we come across. Well, guys, I can't believe the amount of damage we suffered over here. I might just have to rethink this somehow and see what I can do to uh, just... I don't know, take the pressure off that one pole. Every time I demolish or something exploded, it did some serious damage, and that was bad. Whoa. That took way more shots than I thought it was going to take. Damn. This temporary tooth that they put in is a little bit longer than my uh, normal tooth, so now and then I, I bite on it. Not, It's not sore. It's just weird feeling this thing push against your mouth. Now I have to get used to it. I have to sit with this thing now for two weeks. Before they can actually put my uh, actual crown in. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to be using this dentist again, guys. Because damn, um, he said in the beginning, oh, it's just going to be this amount. And then in the end, I've paid so much for this tooth that I'm going to, from now on, I'm going to ask for all of the hidden fees and stuff as well when I go to a dentist. Because this guy definitely had some hidden fees that I didn't know about and I'm paying for it. Okay, let's go. Please tell me there is some titan- Yeah, oh, there, 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 I see it, I see it. Oh, not the iron. Some titanium right here. What you're basically going to do is just dig down straight on top of it. I wonder that the titanium should go underground as well, right? Oh. Let's see, I'm hoping there's no scorpions and stuff to interfere right now. But basically we have to get this. Is this one boulder or two boulders? One boulder. The very wide one boulder. What is a coyote doing inside the wasteland of here? Hello, doggy. Bye bye, doggy. Oops. I'd be careful not to get too much, uh, too many ferals and stuff on me right now because we just only want to focus on getting the resources. There is a lot of titanium hidden above here. See, the more I shoot right now, the worse it's going to get to me. I don't want this other uh, bear over there to come as well. Oh, landmine. I might just have to go and kill the bear, though. Because if he gets in the way, he's going to cause some problems. If I can destroy this thing fast enough and get underground to see if they start him underground, I might be safe from the bear. Because he's going to have to fall into a one-by-one -one hole to try and get to me. I'm just hoping the bears can't dig. Hello? Definitely heard something behind me just now. I can't wait until we have a titanium pick. We can already make one. Although it's going to be an H quality one. We can make a pick, but that's about it. What if I shouldn't try and kill this bear quickly? Do I have a silence on? The yeah, I do. It doesn't sound all that silenced, but I can't afford for that bear to interfere. Ooh, that was way too close. He saw me from a distance. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I might be able to sneak closer and then I uh, just quickly put the frames down and all of a sudden I saw him uh, starting to pick up speed. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. This doesn't sound like it's silenced. I was hoping it is because I don't want to deal with any scorpions and stuff right now. Okie dokie. That was a little bit way closer than I thought. Oh, did I do the damage to the floor? Damn. Let's show how powerful the shotgun is. I wish you could actually have a setting that says, okay, shotguns are not allowed to do block damage. 
only breaching rounds are supposed to be able to do block damage, and that's it. Okay, so now these are four ores next to each other. I can't afford to make the hole too big over here because then we're going to struggle later. Coffee. I wonder if I can do power attacks with this. How much my stamina going to be affected? Not that bad. It's almost like in Darkest Falls. In Darkest Falls, I can do power attacks with my titanium pick and just keep doing a power attack, keep doing power attack, keep doing power attack, and we don't lose um, stamina at all almost. But I desperately need this titanium right now. I think you need two ores per one. Yeah, you need two ores per one forged, and you need two forged per one plate. I need 20 plates, so I need 40 forged, so I need 80 ore. Damn, that's a lot of ore. Especially since we're getting so little for every single piece we break right now, I really need a better one. As soon as my mining reaches 70, oh, uh, 80 over here, it's now 76. As soon as it reaches 80, we'll be able to go and easily... Do way more damage as well, because every 20 uh, with these skills actually gives you a, bo a boost in damage and stuff. I should probably also see. Let me see, let me see. Mining skill, if I can max this out. Um, do 50% more damage. You know what? I wonder if I shouldn't use the Valkyrie drill and stuff. We do Master, have those. It's going to be very, very noisy. Uh, but it's going to do way more damage, I feel, uh, than a steel pick. Well, we'll see which do, uh, does more damage. The steel pick or the Valkyrie drill. I think it's a D quality Valkyrie drill, but also it's a, uh, it uses a superior kit to repair. And at the moment we don't have a superior kit, so I won't be able to repair it after it breaks. <laughs> I was passed out just before the stream. Because of this dentist visit. He didn't even numb my mouth or anything like that, it's just, I'm just tired of keeping my mouth open. <laughs> Okay, tools. I want to go and grab the Valkyrie drill. I want to see how many mods from this we can actually put on there. I'm guessing most of these can go, actually go on the drill. And then we need to go and... Yeah, that's Iron Breaker, Stone Breaker, and then just the Heavyweighted mod. And then we just need some gas. Uh, fuel is over there. Okay, let's go. I want to make sure we're not too encumbered the whole time. That's why I want to drop as much stuff as possible now. Hello, hello, hello. Let's go. Guys, if I yawn, I do apologize. Like I said, I'm... I'm waking. I'm busy waking up. Don't worry. I'll be. I'll be awake in a few. <laughs> Where was I busy over here? There's a lot of titanium above the ground, so it's awesome. There's over there. There's over there. There's a massive chunk of here. There's over there. There's titanium all over. Now you just have to go and focus on getting this done. What is? Is a tip? You don't really even see the tip that well. I want to do this to protect ourselves. Oh. I'm regretting not using this uh, sooner. Damn, look at this. Damn. My pick took what? 20 shots? This thing eats through the titanium. I'm regretting not using this thing sooner. I'm definitely gonna have to see if I can't get myself some superior kits because the, the, I'm gonna need it. I'm so happy right now. This is insane. I'm just glad it makes a t -t 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 sound and doesn't make a t -t 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 sound. This is way more manageable than a very noisy machine. You know how much destroyed stone and stuff I can actually get from the other... But it does two shots to that. Um, how much destroyed stone and sand I can actually get from the other building close by if I use this thing. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Okay, I thought it might be a uh, screamer. I need to be careful of that. But yeah, guys, look at this. 205. I, I didn't even think we are going to be able to uh, get that much in the whole stream. But just because I'm using the right tool now, damn. 
It does bother me when it does like one damage to a certain block that I don't want to damage. Okay, we're getting a ton of iron now as well, so it's a good thing I'm down here. I should probably bring my turret downstairs and then put a few frames in between me and the, uh, the outside. That way at least if something was to get in, the turret would alert us and we can just turn around and quickly kill it. Oh, it seems the titanium and the iron are mixed over here, so we have to be careful of this. Guys, we actually have a jackhammer schematic, but I just never used it. And now I'm regretting it because if the, the Valkyrie is so fast, then the jackhammer would have at least be, have been almost as fast. Obviously, the Valkyrie is the better one of the jackhammer and the Valkyrie. But yeah, we did have a Valkyrie, or rather the jackhammer schematic. I just kept using the tools for some reason. I should probably go and put some frames over here just in case there's too much weight above us. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't try and dig down then. This is just iron down here, right? Yeah, the titanium doesn't seem to go this deep, but... Wait, wasn't that titanium? Yeah, the titanium is actually mixed in with the iron over here. Just as you think, oh no, there's no more titanium if it's only iron, all of a sudden there's way more. It's like I'm breaking a cookie mold or a cookie dough or something, and this is insane. Turret's not gonna work because I'm not up there. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I know. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Come on, drone. Now you're just getting in my way. Where are we going? Uh hopefully upstairs, but now you have messed me up over here. Well, that uh, screamer just breaks I've through. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh crap! My turret's not pointing at it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get out of here somehow. Damn it, man. I'm so stuck down here right now. It's messed up. Okay, that was not fun at all. I couldn't move. I couldn't get out. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't try and go get my, uh, my stuff first. We can put some of the resources inside the machine itself. Um, I could dig down. I could just keep digging over here. This drone is really seriously messed up. It gets in your way so much you can't really do anything. I want to put my turret closer. It needs to be more or less over here. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to fill this up on the top so that the zombies have to break through this. And then we can actually go and put a few things off of the turrets and us inside the vehicle. That way either of us aren't- if I all of a sudden have to put stuff in the uh, drone to get away, we know, okay, the drone's gonna fly after us. We can't afford for this stuff to drop down below. 321 uh, titanium ore, that is insane. Okay. Let me just do this, just do that. You are empty now, right? Yes. Let's go. I'm hoping it only called the one screamer. I wonder if there's a way for me to get closer, but because as soon as I'm here, that uh, I needed to fall in here with me. But then the turret won't be able to do its job. That's a problem. Now we can get so much resources so easily. Hey, Trippy, welcome to the stream. Dude, have you seen how great this thing is? The Valkyrie drill that we found a few episodes ago. I, I actually started digging the titanium with my pick, and I was like, you know what? Let me test this thing out. And damn. The titanium would take me like 10 to 20 shots with my pick to destroy. This thing, like three or four shots. It's awesome. This is a D it's not even an A quality, it's like a D quality. Oh 
I'm just gonna get as much iron as possible right now. We haven't actually been really mining that much, but now that we have this drill, we'll be able to get quite a bit. I do need to say that we can actually get titanium more than the iron. But with all this iron, we'll be able to make quite a bit of steel, so we need to do this. And be careful that this whole thing doesn't start caving in. So every now and then I have to place some uh, frames. I don't have enough frames right now, that's a problem. Um, I could do this, but usually I dig down and then uh, put the pillar on the very bottom. But just this already, the amount of resources we've gotten just from like a few minutes of uh, mining right now is insane. This is like having an orgo on steroids. I'm just mad that I never tried the jackhammer because the jackhammer is right before this one. If this one's so great, the jackhammer might have actually been way better than the auger itself. I'm out of gas. Gas outside in the vehicle. Please, turret, shoot it. Incoming enemy. Prepare for combat. I just waste the block. Okay, I'm a little bit encumbered, so I can't make this jump. Oh no, she actually spawned in. Is this a wandering ward or did she actually just spawn stuff in? I can't afford to get stuck down here. This is not good. Go, let's go let's go i need to be careful of that wandering horde this turret's not gonna last that long okay let's see how much we got a thousand five hundred guys the stream barely started a thousand five hundred irons 330 iron uh, titanium ore i'm really regretting the fact that i haven't tried this earlier this is amazing i'm gonna have to bring my turret down, down there with me because i need to be able to use it i should wonder if i shouldn't quickly go back and get more uh of these let's just keep my tunnels nice and narrow for now Okay, anyways, uh, let's see. I need to reload you. There's still so much titanium in this area over here. But we can get so much more done. Okay, copy shape. And let's just go. Uh, turret, where are you? Or drone, where are you? I'll be here see, just now, I wanted to put stuff in the drone and then make it out. But I couldn't because I didn't have my drone close by. So this drone needs to be down here with us. Uh, it drinks? is good to be online. Is it now? Guys, unfortunately this Valkyrie Drill's lifespan is going to come to an end soon. But the amount of titanium and stuff we've gotten already makes it worth it. It's just a shame there's no more titanium up here with us. I'm going to have to fall into the hole to get more, but I need more um, support, uh, supports, more wood and stuff. Before we can actually go and dig down. I'm actually feeling like just using my, uh, my normal shovel over here to dig a little bit of a hole for the... For that stuff. At the moment, it feels like a massive waste using this on gravel. Yes, titanium over here. Come oh, on, I need way more titanium. If I could get like a thousand pieces of titanium, for now, that's that's all we need. I wonder how expensive it is to upgrade your base to titanium. But if I can do it for the next Horde Knight. Oh. Now, there is a lot of iron mixed in, but at least we are getting some titanium as well. Only problem, obviously, is we're calling a ton of streamers and stuff to us by doing this. And because this machine is so loud, I can't hear when the actual streamers are showing up. So they might already be busy digging upstairs and I don't hear it. I'm really mad at myself for not trying this thing uh, sooner. If I had more turrets or if I could put some of my own turrets upstairs... Just so we can go and, um, like, not the junk turrets, but, like, automated turrets protecting us. That'd be awesome. And it broke. Come on. Come on. Down your drone. Damn. Okay, we had, like, 2,000 iron now, guys, and 500 titanium. My senses have yeah, it's drinking fuel, but it's so much faster than the pick. I could stay down here and do a little bit of more digging, but I don't know if I should. Oops. A bit of lag down here. Is that a screamer now? 
Where did I come from? <laughs> I'm so lost down here now. Okay, but yeah, um, look when I use the pick. How slow this is. If this was the... Yeah, even this. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So it's about ten... It's about 22, 23 shots with a titanium pick if you're not doing power attacks. But with the Valkyrie drill, it's like five, six shots and this thing's breaking. So the Valkyrie drill is amazing. But I think I'm going to wait until the Valkyrie drill is repaired before I go for even more because this is way too slow. I mean, I can get the iron easily enough, but this, I, wanna, I want this. And I'm going to need way more frames as well because that's how I mine. I, I use the frames to make myself a pillow or two that goes all the way to bedrock or as soon as the resource ends. Let me go from there. So basically, where I want to place a pillar, I dig down all the way as much as I can. And when I see that the resources have run out, then I have to start placing the frame or the pillar all the way up to the top. That way you also know how deep the mine is. Come on, drone. There's a little bit of pre-game. Guys, I thought it's going to take like an hour in-game to just go and mine, grind a bit. It's going to be boring. But damn, <laughs> we're done. We've barely been streaming for like 20 minutes. And we have all the resources we need. We have like two hours worth of iron or oh, steel pick um, resources. Hello? I need to go and range all the consoles downstairs. There are so many consoles down here, guys. Look at this. It's a lot of iron and pipes and stuff down here. If I can get all of these and put my own pillars in so it at least doesn't collapse, then we'll have so much resources to actually keep for ourselves. And we can make it wooden. We don't have to have an iron at, at all. Now I'm way too freaking heavy. Where's my drone? Come on, drone. Come on. In the meantime, I'm wondering who shows up because my drone doesn't know how to fly to me. There you go. Okay, so um, I must make sure this isn't too heavy. Well, titanium is actually way lighter than iron. Iron's super, super heavy. Oh, that's too much. Damn, iron is way too heavy. Uh, do that. If I drink some steroids, I might be able to move a little bit better. I need to make sure the drone can still move after us. Although, technically, I could just use the drone as a storage and quickly go drop the rest of the stuff. Yeah, I'm still way too heavy right now. Way, way, way too heavy. Okay, I'm going to drop then this. We should be able to move at least. I want to make sure we take as much as possible with us. And if we have to every now and then go back, it's going to be insane. Can I reach it? Yes, just, just. Even with steroids, look how slow we're moving right now. But guys, this drill is amazing. You can't really even see the tip or anything, but damn. I was thoroughly impressed. Okay, so uh, there's no more concrete or anything crafting over there. All of a sudden, it's getting super dark out here. Okay, that's mine. I'm gonna put the drill away. See, we can even make ourselves a jackhammer. I wonder if I shouldn't try. I wonder if we have the schematic for the Valkyrie drill or if it's a find-only kind of thing. That might actually be kind of interesting to see. Okay, and now we grab all of your stuff. Uh, the vehicle is already all the way full, so we can leave the gas over here. Resources over here, and then miscellaneous over here. The stuff we want to sell goes over here with the stuff we want to scrap. Okay. Yeah, guys, just a few in-game hours. I, I thought it was going to take like a whole real-life hour or something at least. Like I did... When was it? Was it in Grounded or was it in this game that also went grinding a lot? But yeah, um, now this time around we didn't grind at all. <laughs> it was so fast because we had the Valkyrie drill. If I didn't have the Valkyrie drill, we wouldn't have nearly as much resources right now. Guys, for those of you just joining in, I am super, super tired. I went to the dentist today for that uh, crown. They broke my tooth out and gave me a temporary kind of thing that just takes up the place of a tooth. Uh, but yeah, I've been keeping my mouth open for so long, I actually really tired my face out. So just talking, I can feel my mouth, my, everything is tired. Okay, um, and that's why I also went to, uh, I slept a bit before streaming and that was a mistake. Because now I feel like, ugh. Okay, food and drink, should probably make sure we are full on food and water. My food, water 20, or 50 food. One, seven, seven, yeah, that should fill that one up, but I need mineral water. Master, we are not alone. It's been a while since I've actually seen any mineral, mineral water.
It's just one random zombie. I want to make sure we can quickly get the stuff going before we move out. Now I'm going to have to get used to the new setup over here because everything needed to be moved around for this tier 3 furnace. Okay, so now we can make titanium. 5 minutes 25. Not bad. Not bad. I'm just going to make as much as possible in this one then. Uh, I'm going to need some fuel brick. Where did I put those? Axe balls. Mechanic table. No, okay. I don't have any of that stuff here. I'm going to have to waste some fuel ore. When we go to POIs now, if we see some wood that we can actually use, I want to try and get it. It's way cheaper taking the firewood than taking the, uh, these pieces of wood. I think we might actually be able to burn this, right? Okay, so that was five minutes something. I want to make sure there's enough fuel in there. And then we have to make ourselves a ton of frames as well for when we go mining again. But for now, I want to make some steel. Oh, you can't make steel. You have to upgrade this one first. Um, We don't have enough pipes. I could easily make some pipes and then make some bricks. Wait. Oh, yeah. We need the bricks themselves. Uh, We need 26 bricks, right? 26 bricks. Okay. So we need 26 bricks and then we need... Pipes. The pipes I think you make over here. Just need five. Make fire bricks and carpenter's table. Carpenter's table. Oh, firewood. You can actually make it over here. Nice. This is actually what I wanted to make. I don't, I don't want to make the fire logs and stuff for now. I want to make these because they're only one minute. Um. Okay. My time is this by nine. So if I make a hundred... No, that's too much, right? Let's go for 50. Hi, Alan. Welcome to the stream. Alan, did you see that I added you on uh, Steam? If yes, then right after the stream, I'll send you a link for your 7 x copy. It is you, right? That still needs your copy. There's four, only one person, I think a terror or something, um, only that person has claimed their copy so far. So, <laughs> I want to make the video where I prove everyone's gotten their copy, but I can't until everyone's got their copy. I've got a bad the other three still haven't, had, uh, still haven't contacted me at, at all. And new comments, old comments, nothing. So now I wonder, should I just give their copies to someone else? Upgrade. Now we can actually go and make some steel over here. Okay, um... Let's do that. What are we lacking right now? Oh, we can only make iron first and then steel. But why? Oh, that's why. So we can't make steel from scratch. We have to make iron first. I wonder if I should turn all of this into iron. Yeah, then we'll have a ton of iron later. We can turn the iron into steel or use it as iron, so that's a good thing to keep for now. How long is it going to take? 21 minutes. Eh, it's a little bit of a waste of wood for now, but at least we are busy making other ones now too. These are going to help us quite a bit because that's one minute of fuel. Instead of the five minutes for the other one, that's kind of a waste for small projects. Okay. Okay, so we have iron crafting over here. We have our blacksmith's table. Okay, that's not doing anything at the moment. The furnace is making titanium. Oh, I can't wait for this to be finished. And then we can make some titanium. No, now we have to upgrade this one first. I need 50 steel, 100 bricks. Okay, this one can make 100 bricks. Uh, let's stop that one quickly and do this. 100 bricks. I'm gonna make sure we don't waste too much fuel right now. Okay, so we need 100 bricks. Whoops, a little bit of... La oh, I'm too heavy right now. I was about to say, why can't I move? Uh, we need three books and steel. We can actually make the iron right after and then turn that into steel. For now, though, unfortunately, this is going to have to stay. Can't reach it. Um, what if I do this? I'm hoping it doesn't... Okay, I can perhaps do that. I hope it doesn't pour over or anything. But for now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep the titanium in there until we have our maximum stage in tier 3. Then we can make the uh, titanium plates. And then voila, we can go from there. Okay, food and drinks looking fine. Drone, you are empty, right? 
the community posts one uh, last chance for them to claim it. If they don't respond at the time, uh, set time, then give it to another person. It's weird that people enter a competition, they win the competition, and then they're just... Incoming enemies, prepare for Nothing conflict. happens from there. I'm actually glad I did a second draw, uh, or like a, a, a runner-up kind of draw, because... Um, the one guy that won already had a copy. And he said, give it to someone else. So then I still had five copies, five winners, but now three of those winners just aren't coming back to me. Um... I need books. We can make books, right? How do you do that again over here? No. Books. In the research station tier two. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Books, we just need three books. You research it, but technically you're making it. Okay, so we have three books and we just need the steel. So I should probably keep the... Okay, this should be done almost. Yeah, uh, as soon as this is done, we'll just swap these out and then we'll put the iron back in or the steel back in. The faster we have the iron, the faster we have the steel. It's a massive process to get everything done. Okay, now we stop that. Do this. Go out, go in, and iron. Okay. Now we just wait for that to finish. We have a ton of bricks and stuff now. I want to save it for later though, because I do still need to make the bird cage on the other side. And as soon as that's up and running, we need to put some electric fence posts in here. I'm hoping we have enough steel to make the whole floor steel. And then... Who knows, perhaps I can make the whole floor concrete and then a second level concrete and then steel. So just like I did in Darkness Falls, we had three layers. It was reinforced steel, reinforced steel, titanium. I can make two layers and it can be um, concrete and steel. And then the walkway itself over there in the front and the stairs, that's going to be titanium. If we have enough titanium left, we'll start using it on the base itself, but it kind of feels like a massive waste. Okay, we need more of these jars. There you go. I need to make sure every time this is full, we go and take that up. Because later when we need more bones or glue and stuff, we're going to need it. Okay. That should be it for now, so we can go out and have some fun. I should probably put you inside I still need to put pillars inside this place guys I actually kind of I'm kind of worried about the zombies downstairs if they do too much damage to the blocks down below we're gonna have a problem okay so what I want to do with this you require fuel as well so we'll go and take a quarter of this put this over here well this one will take a quarter put it over here and then The campfire over here also uses it, so we can put a quarter over there. And then the camp station also uses it, so we can put a quarter over here. Ooh, glue. Hello, hello. Okay, so now that we have all the resources of crafting, we can actually do our thing. Um, I do need to make way more steel, but that's going to be a while until we have enough left. If I do this, and I go over to my... No, it has to be steel in here, right? I almost keep forgetting every time where it's supposed to go. So this should hopefully be enough space, but I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't put this away for now. I'm just afraid there might not be enough space over here. I don't know how high a stack can get. If it doesn't at least go to a thousand, then we're going to lose a ton of resources. Um, yeah, we have the titanium at least. We can put that in the box down below. Oh, what I could do is split the two now. Now that the titanium is done in the one, I can put the steel at least in this one. Okay, we can make more titanium, but I'm going to save the scrap for now. Uh, more steel, more steel. So we're going to do this one. So as this one gives us uh, gives us iron, we can then turn this iron into something else. We could even go and half this. So we do this and this. Uh, 4, 2, 1. 4, 2, 1. Just to make sure it doesn't make too much. And pulls over. 4, 2, 1. Craft. And then over here... 4 to 1, 10 minutes worth. Eh, it's, it should be okay. And craft. Okay, at least we have a ton of resources that's going to finish now. We need 100 steel ingots to be able to make 50 plates. And as soon as we have 50 plates, we can go and upgrade this one over here. Because we have the books now down in the research station over here. So we have everything we need except for that one 
resource, the steel. And the steel is busy crafting over here now. But to make 100 steel is going to actually take a while, so... I am in no rush at the moment. Perhaps do that. Do this. Okay, now let's be on our way while we wait for that stuff to craft. Uh, I do want to start the uh, the titanium and stuff, but for now, let's just go have fun. We finished over there, right? Yeah, we have to go down. I wonder if I shouldn't do the tier 1 clear first and then do the down. Yeah, but I did say I want to do the town first. So let's just stick to the town. On the one hand, I want to take my motorcycle with me because it's a little bit faster. But on the other hand, if we do a lot of looting, we're definitely going to need the SUV to grab everything. To hold everything. Because the amount of damage we took over here is kind of bad, if you think about it. We could keep it a one block thick uh, uh, floor over here, but then we have to make it titanium. Just so if there's explosions and stuff during nighttime, we don't have to worry. Or during war time, I mean. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! I still want to finish the farm over here. Ooh, I wonder how fast the Valkyrie drill would dig through sand. I know obviously it's not meant for sand or for dirt, but if I was to try and make my farm with the Valkyrie drill, how much faster would that be? Is it like in Darkest Falls where if you use hand tools you get more, and if you use uh, power tools you get less, or is it like vanilla where it doesn't matter? If I'm not mistaken, in vanilla you can use uh, either the power tool or the hand tool and it gives you the same amount. But in Darkest Falls, if you use power tools, it actually takes away from how much you get. Uh, we could probably quickly do this POI. I wonder if I should. It's sub guy again. We've done this a few times. So let's just quickly go to the next one. No, no, sub guy we did in uh, War of the Walkers twice. Not in this one. It's weird, to <laughs> it's weird when you're playing this many mods. Because it's, uh, sometimes your memories of the one starts mixing with the other. That's why I get so confused so easily. Because of the three different playthroughs. Because I can feel this tooth is fake. I mean, obviously the crown is going to be fake as well, but uh, the, they can feel this is just a stopgap they put in. It, it's almost like a filling, like a massive filling uh, just fills up a fake tooth. But yeah, um, it, you can definitely feel, it, it feels rough. It feels... I just need to be careful that I don't break it in the next two weeks. And then as soon as the crown's in, I should, not, I should not have to worry about my tooth again for a while. At least when my dentist checked, this time he said there's no extra holes, so phew. I mean, I already spent so much just for this one crown. Imagine if I, he told me there's going to be more fillings and stuff that I have to get. I'd be so mad. Because I have a really bad problem with my teeth where um, I get... Uh, inf not infections. Um, my, my teeth get very bad easily. If, even if I floss, brush, all that stuff, my teeth get holes in them like crazy. So I'm just glad when I went back there now. It's, it's been a, a few... It's been like a month or two since I've been there and he says there's no new holes. So I am happy. Okay. Probably go guns blazing with these dudes. What the actual hell? No! No! Ooh, okay, now I'm infected, skin knee. This is a wandering ward now. Damn. Okay, we have to be careful because, as you saw just now, oh, we don't have any honey on us. As you saw just now, the um, sh uh, soldiers don't take as much damage from a shotgun, and the problem now is now we're infected. Shotguns are always weak, unless you have breaching rounds or slugs or whatever. They're weak against the soldiers. Hey, where does this lead Master, to? We are not alone. These were just random zombies on the outside. Where's this vulture? There's a scorpion. Oh, hello. There's a scorpion over there. There's a dog over here somewhere. I just heard it whimper as well. I forgot about the scorpions for a second. I shouldn't come out here and I don't need to. I think that should be bad. A 
Because the only thing I'm mad ab uh, about is my dentist told me it's going to be a certain amount to fix my teeth. And I thought, oh wow, that's cheap. Let me do it through this guy. And then my mother went for her teeth and she told him a different price. I was like, what the hell? Nope, the price he gave her is the real price. So basically, he didn't inform me this could be like hidden fees and stuff. And due to that, uh, yeah, it just cost me way more than I thought it was going to. Where are you? Back there. Oh, crap. Nope, 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 nope. Get out, get out, get out. Zombies swim faster than we do, so I have to be careful of that. Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh, there's a scorpion above as well. If the, if the scorpion Think falls down, we might actually have a problem. Okay, if I lockpick this... There are zombies breaking from the top as well. I need to be careful now. I wanted to help the doggy over here by doing this. Hello? Yeah, there you go. Hello. There you go. Ooh, hello. Okay, those came from outside. They're not part of the space. But there is a scorpion as well. Now be, be careful. I definitely heard that. Hey, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, guys, we have to be super careful now. Probably quickly go kill the scorpion first. Oh! Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a scorpion that was over there. I should show you, should technically, every time you see a scorpion, go for... Is this a wandering horde? We had a few zombies already, now there's still these two over here. It makes me feel like there was a wandering horde over here. Okay, what's inside? Yeah, how do you get inside? Damn, I actually took the um, Valkyrie drill of uh, binding and digging that would have took uh, taken <laughs> digging that would have taken me about like an, a real life hour plus took me about uh, less, less than 20 minutes. So that Valkyrie drill is amazing. Now I, now I know, I want to make sure I can actually make myself a superior kit, just so I can go and repair that one. That's how great it is, I want to make that superior kit right now, but at least we are busy making titanium. I just need some steel, then we can actually upgrade our... We need some steel, then we can upgrade our uh, one forge, and then we can actually go and make ourselves some titanium tapes and stuff. Keep hearing footsteps there. I don't I wanna get take them uh, care of them. It's just now it is a wandering horde. We don't wanna have too many zombies and stuff coming for us right now. Okay, there's gonna be something back there. I remember this PI. Yeah, look at this. Hello. Which one's gonna be- Oh, hello! Nope, 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 nope. I thought I was about to ask which one's gonna be more badass or more tough to deal with. Crap. Ooh! Okay, 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 okay. There's a lot of zombies walking around up here. That's because I haven't really been in this area before. Or was this actually a wandering world they came through? At least we do have the silence on this gun, but damn. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I think we had like two or three screamers while we were using the Valkyrie drill. It doesn't help that I'm using the shotgun. Even though it is silenced, it doesn't help that we're using it so much. Zombie's still outside. Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, I need to be careful. I need to be way, way, way more careful. Just get home from work. I'll eat, then come back. Ah, uh, no worries. Are you making me hungry? <laughs> I don't think I even ate tonight. Okay, uh, yeah. Why did I just walk in here? That's bad. That's dumb. 
I do need to see if I can't start picking up more stuff as well. Technically, I also need to pick up the lights and all these fixtures because they give a ton of resources too. But to remember to pick up every single one, especially when you're in a hurry. See, these as well give you a bit of resources, but I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, so let's just go from one corner. And there's a hidden room behind there. I wonder how many people actually realize this. There's a hidden stash behind this door. Or behind the stuff over here. I can't remember if there's any loot in there. But I do... I think there is a stash or a secret... A hidden stash or something in there. But I, do, I can't remember if there's a zombie in there. I've been stuck in this room before in darkest halls. While there was stuff coming through that door. And that's scary. You know, in this teeny tiny little room over here, and all of a sudden there's a wandering ward coming for you. Come oh, on, give me some great loot. I should probably go back and see if I can't get some antibiotics or something. I'm so mad. Usually I, I carry the antibiotics with me, and now this time I didn't. I need some. Oh, that was that could have been bad. I need some honey and stuff. Sun baton. Need some ammo. Okay, cool. Thank you. Not much, but it's, at least it's something. Okay, so this room's done. This room's done. I've got a bad feeling about this. I just destroyed that bed over there, but that's fine. This dude was feral. When they all of a sudden pick up speed, I saw he was feral just now, but all of a sudden when he starts picking up speed, they're like, uh oh. No no. Hey, where's a stash to this place? Oh, upstairs. I should probably use my turret as well. I have my turret on me for a reason, right? If I'm not mistaken, there's definitely some zombies up here, so we'll do this. Ooh! Turret, thank you. Saved me a little bit of time. But I could have easily... Guys, this shotgun is so powerful, it can easily destroy the loot back here if you're not paying attention. I want to see if it's possible to tweak the XML so shotguns do zero, uh, like zero block damage or like a teeny tiny bit of block damage. Only when you use breaching rounds or slugs should it actually start doing... Slugs do a little bit more damage and then as soon as you use breaching rounds, that should do a ton of damage. That makes sense. I mean, obviously I know in real life a shotgun can destroy quite a bit. But still, in the game it's so easy to uh, break a wooden floor without even meaning to. Okay, um, oh, why did I do that? Oh, wow, okay, even though it was a titanium axe, just not barely took any damage. Okay, so we go and put these glasses back on, let's go. Sometimes just finding that sweet spot to get through a doorway or hatch is insane. Okay, let's go. I can't remember how much we actually get for these lights, whether it's even worth grabbing them. But I mean, while we're at it, we can just well uh, grab them, right? Ooh, 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 how did I miss this? I did say from now on, oh, hello, Snakey, I just saw you curl up. I did say from now on, every time I see um, a transformer like this, we have to go for it. It's free steel. Technically, I should go for the lamppost and stuff as well while we are. But for now, it's easier going for the Transformers. Did I loot that vehicle? Yes. Um, eh, We should probably do this. It's grindy as hell to go and uh, scrap every single vehicle you come across. But it's better this way because then you don't come back to the same one. That, like just now, I'm wondering if you've already scrapped it or wrenched it or looted on me. You see, my brain just had a massive brain fart. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's any... Oh, there is a vehicle in here. I need to be careful not to be too heavy now, because if a wandering horde passes by, we have a problem. I should probably just go back to the base just quickly and get some antibiotics. We don't want our stamina and stuff getting too low right now. My senses have picked up something. Hello? Definitely heard a zombie running just now. I need to be careful. Was it a random zombie from the outside that just went through, or what just happened? Okay, let me just go to the base, guys. I didn't think to bring any antibiotics with us. Now we actually need it. It's a shame, though, that we can't just get from these. 
Come on, antibiotics. Antibiotics. I have really bad luck when it comes to these ambulances, it seems. I've seen people get like stacks and stacks of first aid kits. And here I'm struggling just to find one antibiotic. Okay, um... Let's quickly do sub, uh, sub guy and then we can go back. I do need to see if we can't start focusing on our... Oops. On our tier level for our quest a bit as well. You be careful because there's so many things just walking around. Our aiming sucks like a lot. Ooh, where did the zombie dog come from? Hello? Uh, there's a cop incoming, there's a vulture somewhere over here. I saw the vulture just now, it was very, very dark. Uh, let's just see. Oh, yep, behind me. Okay, where's this dude? I don't know why they keep going inside my vehicle for some reason. It's like they're trying to merge or fuse with my vehicle to be able to get away from me. Okay, so we're going to put everything else over here for now then. So we can move around. Um, it's a shame. Usually I bring some uh, antibiotics, like whether it be a honey or something with me. And then this time, the one time I actually forget, I get infected. Tier 1 clear. I do have a turret, which I should probably stop putting down. But for some reason, I keep forgetting to put it down. It's right next to my spear, so it's easy enough to grab. All of a sudden, my head's a bit itchy. I don't know if it's a headset sweating on my head or something. Okay, uh, let's see. The problem is here in South Africa is that we have like a heat wave or something. If I turn on my fan, my eyes dry out. But if I leave off my fan, it's just way too freaking hot. Hello, my lady. Where are you going? Okay, I should probably go and range all these vehicles when we're done as well. First loot them, then range them. Okay, this place we've looted a few times now, so I know more or less where the zombies are. But it doesn't make it any easier. I'm gonna do that there. Master, we are not alone. At least in War of the Walkers, we had like two quests in a place like this. Oof. Oh, come on, run, 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 run. Oh, no, 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 no. The soldier is bad news. I'm gonna need way better armor or ammo. Armor? Ammo for these um, soldiers because, damn. You think the shotgun is amazing already, but it struggles against um, soldiers. I'm gonna I start schooling in streamers and stuff right now because I am getting overrun. Out of frames, that's not good. Please, yes. I was say, please give me some water. It's been a while since we've actually seen one of these. I just wish you could actually find one that has like a lot of water inside. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with the soldiers another way because this shotgun just isn't doing enough damage right now and that's gonna cost us dearly. Guys, what do you guys think about my War of the Walker series so far? Are you guys liking it? Not liking it? Could it be better? Could it be okay? Is it okay? Um, at the moment, I think we're doing actually really, really well. I wanna add for enemies. next week. Prepare for conflict. Well, next week, I want to add in the psychos and all those um, new zombies and stuff. But yeah, uh, I want to add in all those psycho zombies and stuff. So uh, that's going to be... That's going to make the game a little bit harder as well. Come on, place it down, bloody hell.
Okay. I need to be careful not to bite too hard on this tooth of mine. Because it's a fake one. It's not strong uh, as strong as a crown, but it's uh, it's too, it's gonna do for now. But if I accidentally bite too hard, I might just break it. But yeah, like I said, um, uh, apparently that was not part of War of the Walkers. A lot of people thought it was, but they don't uh, check the first episode of Guns, Nerds, and Steel. You added a mod that added the like psychos and bandits and all that stuff. So I want to do that as well for my uh, for next week's episode, just to spice it up a bit. I need to add a bleed chance to this weapon. I feel like at the moment it does quite a bit of damage, but if I can just bleed them while they're down, that's going to help us tremendously. At the moment, as soon as a zombie's down, it, it needs to bleed, so we don't have to do too many shots. If I can hit, like for example, the um, soldiers that are so pesky, if I can hit them with a with an attack that actually bleeds in, that should help us tremendously. No, there's gonna be two zombies in there. Doesn't look like they're radiated, so that's good. It's nice you can pick all of these up and you don't have to range them right now. Technically, if you can get your range a high enough level, you don't have to even pick them up. You can just range them on the spot. One shot ranging instead of just going and picking them up. I think at the moment even, uh, ranging and picking up is more or less the same speed. But it's all to do with the damage and I also want to put it in a recycling station because it seems recycling station gives you bonuses. I don't know if it's like that for every single item, but I know, for example, we learned last uh, time during the stream that short iron pipes give you 9 to 1 ratio in the recycling station and 1 to 1 ratio on you. So you can make nine times the iron if you actually just put it in the recycling station. It promotes using that station. Uh, what's this? Some guy running. Why are you running? I hear footsteps Master, downstairs. Not That's not good. Probably quickly go kill that cop. It's a cop that's coming up. Yeah, it's definitely a cop. Oh! That's not a cop. Damn, why do I always have to reload it the worst time? Every time I have to reload, it's when a big dude is in my face. They do so much damage. This is my very last frame right now. It's so unfortunate. Okay, at least there's no zombies in here, so I can have a little bit of a breather. We need to find antibiotics as soon as possible. My stamina is also greatly being affected right now. Night Stalker. Early bird gets the worm, uh, but the night owl sees everything. Gain 5% more XP from kills at night. We are doing a few kills at night, so let's just read it anyways. Hey, Bad Mayor, welcome to the stream. My day was okay. I went for my root canal. Well, I went for a root canal already, but now they broke this tooth out and placed a fake one in while they wait for the crown. So that's why I might sound a little bit tired, guys, just because it took a lot of, a lot out of me today. It's, it wasn't that bad because I didn't even have to numb the tooth or anything. But still, it's tiring keeping on uh -huh, like this. I opened the whole time. I couldn't close my mouth uh, once in the whole hour plus I was there. And I don't know if you can see it in my face, but I'm actually, I'm tired. <laughs> but it's just because I went to bed after I came back from the dentist. I slept and I slept a long time. And that was a mistake. Should not have gone to bed. Should not have slept. Oh, zero. Why are these things always empty? We need more water. But other than that, how was your day today? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we can actually fill it up with this one. Why not? It wasn't a surgery. It's just they broke out the tooth. There's a lot of grinding and stuff in my mouth to break out the tooth, all the old fillings and stuff. Guys, the tooth that they fixed or that they took out today, basically, my whole mouth was so sensitive. Like, it was sore sensitive. Um, 
And it turns out it was just this one front tooth that was serious. It needed a root canal. Because I had an infection and everything. And uh, there was also an infection by the nerve that they took out. As soon as they took out the nerve, uh, the nerve, all of a sudden the... Even though there was still infection, it felt way better. And now that they actually went and... Uh, now what they did was... Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh crap. Uh, let me just quickly finish this. Okay, so the root canal itself is they just go and they take the nerve out. And then voila, you don't have any more pain. But the old the crumply tooth is still there. The, the thing you see is very, very, uh, very breakable. So what they did today was uh, the part that they didn't fill up last time. They broke out all my tooth and all of the fillings. You guys, I had so many fillings in that tooth. It's insane. They broke that out and now they put a fake thing on. And then in two weeks time, they're going to put a crown, which is basically going to be like concrete. So hopefully that crown doesn't break in the future because already it's costed me so much just to put the damn thing in. I wonder why they- what triggered them to wake up? Because all of a sudden they just woke up. Usually I come here guns, but in War of the Walkers we came with our NPCs, so they uh, fired a few shots and that called some zombies. But just now, we were just going to the loot, we didn't even touch loot yet. Is it surgery? Oh yes, in War of the Walkers we- Ah, don't break! In War of the Walkers, we actually had no wrench with us when we came to this place. And now I can actually grab all this stuff. We're going to get so many pipes from this. And with the pipes, you can get so much iron. Although, thanks to the Valkyrie drill, we already have like 2,000 iron ore. So that's way better than any iron we can get. But at least I'm I'm the type of guy with... I can, guys, I can drink an energy drink. Like a, a Red Bull or whatever. And then go straight to sleep. So, my sleeping habits and how I get tired and stuff is really weird, really bizarre. Well, it, it's because I always force myself always when I'm sleepy to stay awake or when I'm awake to go to sleep and stuff. But yeah, uh, at least I can still function when I'm still super tired. Is this bag inside the floor? Yeah, that's a bug, right? That's supposed to be over there. It's supposed to be flat on its side. Okay, so now we have to go and range a few vehicles. Be careful. I keep forgetting that there's scorpions and stuff in the game. And as soon as I turn around, bam, in your face. At least they didn't uh, give me any... Uh, because the first one, uh, where they took out the uh, um, nerve, that was a few weeks ago. Uh, and that one, they numbed me, but they don't put you under here in South Africa. They just numb, the, numb it locally and then work on you. Um, but yeah, that's back then. Today, they didn't even numb the tooth because there's no nerve, no feeling in the tooth. But still, it takes a lot out of you when they work on a tooth like that. Because they're basically grinding away your tooth. It's, it's bizarre having such a massive treatment on your tooth without any anesthesia or anything. Any numbing um, agent or whatever. Like, I should probably put a few things... Oh, ooh. I should put a few things inside my drone over here. So that when I need to move, I can move. What's the heaviest thing on me right now? I'm actually amazed at how much my turret can hold. Just because we went and upgraded that quite a bit. Look at that. Guys, for those of you that haven't seen my stream on uh, Grounded yet, I highly recommend it. It is a really fun game. Even me, I didn't think I was going to enjoy that much, but I'm actually really enjoying Grounded a lot. Okay, it says return to Trader. But first things... Uh, yeah, let's just first go to the Trader, uh, to our base and drop stuff off. Then we can go up to the Trader and then go back down here. There's a little bit of a U-turn that we have to make, but that's fine. Dawn Studio. Oh yeah, that's one of the tougher ones to clear. Although it's been Alpha 19 last that I actually had to clear it. So I wonder if this... No, it's not. There is one combo After pack for your eye that's insanely life. huge. It looks like a cathedral from the outside. But on the inside, there's massive catacombs and stuff with bears and dogs and stuff downstairs. 
I wonder in this mod what that thing would look like downstairs. I think it's going to be insane. I think I did a nitrogen build uh, once where I actually used that combo pack. Okay, now we do this. Now we do this. Pick up. It's a shame you can't reverse stuff out of your inventory. Like, what you have here, you press a button and it goes to all the chests where they are. It would be so much easier than having to go through each and every chest like this. That must have been... Okay, I should have actually taken the herbal antibiotics just now. That was a waste. I think the herbal antibiotics wouldn't have been as expensive. Um, I think normal antibiotics like that covers 25% cure and we were only at like 6 something. That was definitely a waste just now. Okay, when we want to go and... Break stuff down, it's going to be for this, 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 this. This, this, and this. We can scrap this, sell this, sell this, sell this. Hello? The guys, I don't know if it's for you, uh, like this for you as well, but I struggle sometimes to see the drone. Like, it mixes it with the background so well, that sometimes like, where the... It's right in front of you, but you don't see it. Is that now a wandering ward, I wonder? I'm going to keep this on us. I've got a bad feeling about this. Boom, 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 weapon parts, ammo and weapons, and resources. I think this might be a wandering horde right now. It's too noisy not to be. Motorcycle engine we can keep for now. There's just one zombie. It sounds like so many more down here. Oh wait, this might have actually been a wandering horde. I think they're all inside the building itself. Ooh, now I'm itching. No, just a few zombies. Sometimes these wandering hordes are super, super small. I keep, I keep pulling in a wandering horde, but I might just have been wandering zombies that flock together. There, uh? Hello, hello, I hear you out here. I don't mind them breaking this wall out, but when it comes to this over here, guys, we have to put some more pillars. This has to be at least steel. I'm hoping this goes all the way to the bottom. Otherwise, no, it doesn't. See, that structure is not good because at the moment, there's nothing holding these blocks up. I have to go put a pillar right here going all the way down. That way we can ensure that there's no structural issues. If all that's... If this pillar goes, all our stuff at the top goes as well. All of our forges, everything. Over here, I want to also fill this whole place up with just full blocks or with a ton of poles and stuff. Okay. Now I have to see which drone is better. My drone or this drone? Because remember, even though it's the same level, sometimes the quality can Where differ. Where are you taking me? Okay, this one holds four less cargo. But the condition's better. Uh, no, no, the condition doesn't really matter to me. It, the cargo matters. And four cargo can actually mean the, uh, the difference between life and death for us at the moment. So we'll sell that. That there. Okay, we only have on us what we need on us, right? I should probably keep some honey on us too in case we get infected again. Honey is worth this. Okay, what can I swap it out with? Okay, so yeah, we're going to lock these slots. Unfortunately, guys, I hate using this much space, but for now, we're going to have to do it. I haven't even had to use my um, uh, Molotov cocktails Startup in a really long time. Activated. Okay, so now we can go ahead into the trade. I wonder if I shouldn't try and sell some stuff while we're there. We have 11,000 on us. We have Grandpa's awesome sauce, but I don't know if we're going to use that right now or not. I feel like it's a waste to use it on this few items. If there were more items, yeah, definitely. Okay, so iron, we have to make some steel. We can split the steel between the two. And then we can go... Okay, how much steel do we have already? None. So I need 100. We are four away. So if I can make two in you. We can actually make all four of here. No, we have to make eight. So that's four there. Four here. And we can stop this. It's a little bit fast. I mean, I could have just waited eight seconds. Oh, ten seconds, but still. And now we can actually go and make all the deal we need. Alright, I did make too much. Huh. Anyways, now we have 50, so that's all we need over here. As soon as that's done, 
we can go and upgrade the Blacksmith's Forge to tier 3, and then we can finally make some titanium. Although, now the problem is, it does seem if you upgrade something and it takes up more space than it used to, it pops into your inventory. So we might get super, super full soon. Yeah, let's do this. It's not going to use all the iron for the steel, but it's going to use enough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make 300 steel ingots, so that's 150 steel plates. That is about... 15, uh, 30 blocks that we can make steel. Only 30, damn. This whole thing only makes 30 blocks steel. That's insane. You're gonna need to move everything again after upgrading. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I've noticed this thing is huge. I wonder if I shouldn't try and move my bed to like the bottom floor. So instead of having it right here, wait, do we, do we have another bed? I don't wanna pick this one up and all of a sudden all the zombies respawn. What if I do this? Oops, don't break your leg, don't break your leg. Ooh, lucky, lucky, lucky me. I still need to go and add in a staircase or something over there because I took the wrong staircase out last time. This, the stairs over here still needed to be here, but for some reason I took it out. Okay, if I make the bed right there. Actually move it quickly. Put it right here. I'm just hoping there's gonna be no explosions and stuff and all of a sudden the bed gets destroyed. That would suck. Now I can take this bed and take it away for now. And then we can have some more workstations over here. Okay, let's see. What can I move around? Um, Even the waterfall over here. Oh, uh, not waterfall. The well. We can put it in the corner over here. Everything doesn't have to be exactly next to each other. If I could perhaps make rows of stuff, that could also work. So instead of having a U over here that we have with stuff, we can have rows of stuff over here as well. That should work too. So I'm going to pick these up. It's going to open up the floor a little bit more as well. I don't know if I should leave two blocks in between each station or just one. Depends. Okay, let's just see if I put the other station from up top here as well. I need to put pillars in here as soon as, soon as possible. Let's just do that now. I'm afraid that if we don't put the pillars in and zombies come and they destroy this place, this whole place is going to cave in. That's going to be tr uh, That's going to be hell. That's really going to suck. Okay, so, um, let's start from the bottom over here. Middle centered. I don't want to do where the zombies are constantly walking. Oh, how can I see that block from the top, though? Let's make it 4004, though we know that's that block. Same over here. Four nine and four oh four. Put another pillar right here, but I I, I don't want to put it in the middle of the uh, facility because, like I said, then the zombies are gonna come. They at the moment they're walking through over here and falling through, so that's good. But I don't want them going for any of these pillars over here. I'm actually thinking of also putting pillars on their sides, connecting to this one to the wall and stuff. I'm actually thinking of just making my own base from scratch because this is too much work actually renovating a place like this, especially in, the, in this mod where everything's so expensive. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, so it's this one over here. Yeah, it's two blocks in. It's not the one that's too destroyed right now. That's, I know it's not that one. And then same on this side, right there. The fact that you have to lure the drone away just so you can place your own blocks, that's kind of messed up. Okay, so that is done. Now we just have to get outside and up again. We still have to come fix the horde base before day 77, but that's still so far off at the moment. If I could just make sure we have all the steel and iron and stuff we need to work with, then at least it's going to help us later. Okay, so stuff I can sell, we can sell this. I'm not going to use the Grandpa's Awesome Source right now. I feel like that's a massive waste. Later we can go and repair all these clothing uh, pieces and then go sell stuff. Technically even. We can wait for that. The cash I'll sell right now. And these stations over here, this one I can turn on its side, but for now we can actually put like the carpenter's table in there. Or the tailoring, oh, tailoring station, where are you? So all of these over here, even the uh, mechanics table we can put downstairs too. The less stuff we have up here, the less we have to worry about. 
Now, the nice thing is with these, we can actually go and place them like so. Just to save a little bit of space as well. This one, I'm going to have to jump. I actually want to keep this open so I can move. Because I know sometimes we're so heavy. As soon as I get over here, we won't be able to walk. Oh, uh, take it easy. We can still walk over. But we have to walk in such a way where it's not... Well, if I'm too heavy and I can't jump, then this is going to get in the way right now. But now, we can actually just go and do this. If I'm too heavy, I'm going to have to walk on the side over here just to make sure that we can get to our boxes and drop stuff. Okay, that should be done up top. Uh, we do need the one tool over here. Steel, and then... Voila. No, it's not this one, right? It's this one. It's going to pop into my inventory if it's too big. I did it last time as well. Hey, Padre, welcome to the stream. Yeah, look at that. It just went into my inventory. I used all those resources on the bottom right, and then it popped into my inventory, but it's too, because it's too big for this area over here. That's insane. That's really, that's a lot. Damn. Look how big this thing is. Okay, so if I move the general, can't move it. I need a land claim down here. Um, let's move this one then. We can put the two forges more or less next to each other. So yeah, I want to upgrade this one to that one as well, but it uses a ton of resources to do so. But now, though, I want to make sure we just put all this... Damn, look how big this thing is. I'm going to put these next to each other. So that is a... This furnace and this furnace is the same. And then this is the forge. And now we can make titanium plates. Okay, uh, we're not going to need any titanium ingots for now. I think we need the plates even if you upgrade the base outside, right? So for now, I'm just going to craft these as is then. We have our steel still crafting over here. And we have steel... No, this steel is done. Okay, yeah, everything is looking really, really great right now. I need to make way more frames as well for when we go mining, and I need to make a superior kit as soon as possible. For those of you that missed it, we used our Valkyrie drill earlier, and it's, it's amazing. That Valkyrie drill is a really, it's amazing, but it requires a superior kit to repair. That's the only reason we have so much titanium and steel and stuff, is because I just went mining for like 20 minutes. Okay, uh, do you need to make some frames? 104, let's make 99. But now, I don't want to waste too many uh, nails and stuff at the moment. If it's not necessary. Okay, so we need to focus on next is upgrading the workbench to tier 3. And the maintenance station to tier 4. But for this one, what are we going to need for this one? Military fibers. But for military fibers, we need to have this one level 3 first. But now, we, yeah, we'll, we'll have the titanium. We just need books. I could make books, but I want to save the research data. So we're just going to have to go looting. Everything's... Finally, finally, hello. Finally starting to look up over here. Do you see what I see? Oh, wow, it's split up around the building. There's a few on that side and a few on that side. You need to be careful that there's no zombie dogs. The past few wandering wards have actually had a zombie dog or two. And they can really mess you up if you're not careful. Yep, hello, zombie dog. Two of them. These hordes are getting big, but I love it. I really, really enjoy big wandering hordes like this. I feel not only wandering hordes, but all hordes, uh, j just zombies walking out. Imagine you, uh, every day you looked outside and you saw this many zombies. That would be insane. Come on, 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 come on. Oof. Oh, ooh, military fibers, nice. If I can climb on the vehicle and lure them to me that way, now they're doing it. Oh, uh, I didn't realize my HP was low. They might explode this vehicle, so I need to be careful. Man, look at this. I wish the wandering zombies were this much every day. Not just the, not, not just wandering hordes, but just all out normal spawn with this many zombies. You guys are going to explode. Way too many of you guys are hitting that vehicle. That's why, if you can put... You can even play Nomad difficulty, guys. Warrior difficulty, you won't even need. You, you can actually play Romero if you had this many zombies all over the map. Not just in Wandering Hordes. Ooh! That was close. We had like one HP left just now. And I couldn't reload my gun in time. All these zombies and not a single one of them dropped anything. Can you believe this? 
But yeah, guys, imagine you could play a Romero because people think, oh, walking zombies, it's too easy. If you have that many zombies to kill, they can actually make Molotovs less effective and then just have massive scores of zombies all over the map like that. But at the moment, unfortunately, because it's unoptimized, the game would lag like crazy. There's no way this game can actually handle that. My infection's finally gone. We still have like 18 minutes worth of infection um, ready, uh, medication left. That was a real waste. Okay, food. Let's just quickly make sure we fill up over here. Shepherd's pie. Ooh, 104. Nice. I do have the food and stuff on me, but for now, I want to make sure we don't have to worry too much about eating multiple stuff. Is that going to give me HP, uh, HP as well? I'm slowly but surely healing, but I don't know if I should just heal myself right off the bat. The thing is, if I don't heal myself, the vultures dive bomb us, but if I do heal myself, that's a waste of a repair kit. Or a um, first advantage, I mean. Guys, as soon as we have the Valkyrie drill, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to just make the farm. Then instead of the shovel doing one block, one block, one block, we can just quickly run through. We are going to get screamers, obviously, because the Valkyrie is super loud. And it is kind of a waste using a Valkyrie on um, dirt, but I think it's going to be so much faster than using a shovel. Or if I just use an auger itself, I think I might actually have an auger. I can make a jackhammer, so I can do that as well, but I think the jackhammer is more for stone, right? I still can't believe the Valkyrie did like five shots to titanium, where a steel pick takes like 22 or something. It's insane. I should probably have marked on the map where my titanium mine was, so I can just keep mining over there. Although it's mostly just iron now. Come on, there you go. Uh, let me just see what you have before I talk Greetings. to your friend. Greetings. Okay, so, uh, TNT, normal ammo, breaching rounds, none of the stuff we need right now. Oh, I do need this. I need this. If we go and make ourselves a spirit kit, guys, we're going to waste a level 5 impact drill. Or uh, level C. And this one, we can just waste a level H. I'm so glad I just realized that. Okay, Vindicator, we already have our Vindicator over here, way better quality. SMG auto turrets, I should probably start getting the auto turrets too. Some, you must think you're pretty hot shit now. You don't I say. Don't it, so <laughs> okay, so that's agree. sniper rounds, sniper rounds. Ooh, out of mining. Miners thrive on coffee. Harvest 10% more from all ores with a mining pick or stone axe when buzzed. Now we're going to use the Valkyrie drill more. I'm still going to grab it though. And then serrated blade. I want to see if I can't put that on my spear. Master, we are not alone. Let's see. Cabin 4, gas station. Some of these things we've definitely done already, but I, I can just go and do them again. Why not? Good luck. I think that one is actually going to be outside town. Wait. Before I forget, we're going to sell that stack. And then what do you have for us? If I can buy concrete mix right now, that's that's technically all I really need right now, concrete mix. You have a superior kit. It's been a while since I've actually seen a trader sell the superior kit. It's all my stuff. So you still have to go and... Uh, yeah, day 73, they reset. Okay, that's all crappy loot right now. There's nothing we need. Technically, we do need the concrete mix, but I can just Good make my own. That. If we can repair the Valkyrie drill, we can go for that building next door with all the destroyed stone and easily get the resources. I should probably do all the tier 1 quests first, but I mean, I want to clear this town as well. Every single playthrough, I'm so obsessed with questing, 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 questing that you don't really finish the town itself. And there are sometimes so many awesome epic buildings that would be so much more interesting to go and loot. As if my speech sounds a bit weird, it's just because of the tooth of mine. I can feel it's not my actual tooth. I mean, it's going to obviously be the same with the crown as well. But this stopgap that they put in until they have the crown really feels weird. And every now and then, like I said, if I close my mouth in a certain way, I can actually feel that I'm biting on top of it, which technically is not a good thing. Um, but I should actually talk to the tra- I, I only noticed when I was almost all the way home that my, that the tooth was a little bit like that. You didn't even ask me. Usually they uh, try and floss your tooth as well to see if it fits in uh, nightly. You didn't even do that this time. So I might try trying to floss tonight, accidentally uh, remove the stop cap that he put in. But that's not my fault, that's his fault.
Now, I want to see if we can't get some more eggs over here for bacon and eggs. I do still want to put down the chicken coop. I think we should actually try and make a, an in-game project for this series. Where we build a massive, massive base. Because then we can actually go and put all our chicken coops on the one side of the base far away from us. We can have the horde base next door. I think that's what we have to work for right uh, work towards right now. A nice end game kind of base. Three waters, yes. My senses have picked up something. Where? Inside? Outside? Inside. Where did he come from just now? I couldn't see him. Probably from the right of here in the corner or something. He was definitely not inside of the yeah. I would have seen him a lot uh, a lot sooner as well. I need to use my drone more. Ah, uh, my turret more. I should actually see if I can't upgrade the mods or put better mods inside the turret as well. At the moment, it just serves its- Oh, I didn't grab the- Oh, I didn't grab any of the frames. I made 99 frames and I didn't grab a single one. I am going to have to go grab it after this because that's the only way we're going to be able to climb certain pure eyes. I hate these. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. You need to be careful, we sometimes, yep, at the back. They're at the back sometimes, and most of the time they're on top of this thing, and it makes it really hard to kill them. Especially when they're feral, and they're on this treadmill of here. Whoopsie! I also want to make sure we reload every now and then as well, because I constantly have trouble with reloading at the wrong time. I reload, and then it's way too late. Have I been in here before? This feels new. Oh, you're feral. I have to kill you before I do any of this stuff. Ooh, I didn't realize he was feral until just now. Where does this lead to? I've never really paid attention to this POI. So we can actually take the ladder all the way to the top then. Yeah, I've never really paid attention to this BI, so it feels weird parting through this properly right now. Be careful of vultures. Nothing behind the door. Just a console. I know this uh, place can sometimes have a ton of zombies inside the, uh, the corridor here, so I need to be careful. Hello, are you feral? Yeah, you're feral. At least if it's not a biker or not a soldier, I can actually take them down easily. But if it's one of those two, then we have to uh, we have to be way more careful. I'm so glad that we have so many of these lockpicks. What have they picked up? I want to see. I've never actually rechecked really all of these containers. Is there really nothing in ev inside every single one of these, or is there something down here? I know the one has a final stash in. Scorpion downstairs, there and there. Oh, hello, hello. Like I said, I've never really passed through this place properly. Now that I'm doing it, it feels weird. I mean, how long have I I've been playing Seven Nights Alive? Now, now's the only time that I actually really go and clear a place. At least this way we're working on our lockpicking skill as well, so it's worth quickly just trying to lockpick these. Just don't fall down, John. If you miss a jump right now, that's gonna suck. Crap. Hello, armless dude. Whoopsie. Almost hit me. I'm not paying attention to where, uh, where I'm lockpicking that I didn't pay attention to that just now. That could have been bad. 
that's not the final room then. The final stash is gonna be on the other side then. I've got a bad feeling about this. Wait, how? We've already cleared this place. Perhaps a vulture up top or something. Well, there might still be a zombie or two downstairs. I need to be careful. I'm actually really enjoying Grounded. And the fact that my base is looking really good right now, I'm actually really happy with that. I might actually try and do a series on like the woe mode. It's like the, the insane mode for that game. I'm playing at the moment on medium difficulty and now at least... I, I feel like I'm doing really great in that uh, game considering it's my very first time and it's medium. If I were to go on woe a difficulty now, now that I know the game more, I wouldn't die as much. I need a weapons flashlight. Now at least I know what to expect from the game, so I wouldn't wouldn't be caught so easily with that. The scorpion. They'll, imagine the scorpions can climb ladders. I say, and all of a sudden there's a scorpion right next to us. Where are you? Where is you? Okay. This gun is supposed to be able to kill the scorpions in three shots. Oh, hello. It's the first time I've actually seen them do this. They're supposed to kill them in three shots, but um, I've noticed that sometimes it takes like five shots. It has to be headshots for it to be three shots, it seems. If you just miss a little bit, you're just off center, but then all of a sudden you miss insanely. I need to make sure we're also picking up the turret as we go. It's going to suck if I accidentally leave the turret behind. Okay, we can now go for the school over here. I think after we do the school, we have to go back and grab our um, frames. At the moment, we shouldn't need the frames. Although, wait, did I already do the final stash over here? I think I did. That's the only problem with going for final stashes is when you actually need the finals. When you have to clear the place, and you're like, uh, is it worth it? I mean, obviously, we're going to get a ton of stuff that we can actually go and dismantle, so it is worth it. But at the same time, there's no final stash because I've already cleared this place. Or already did the final stash over here. Um, let's go through the front. Why not? We'll just first quickly do this one and then we'll go for the front over the school over here. This is actually a really big POI to clear, so it might be a little bit dangerous. There's a lot of these direwolves in these places. Damn. Hello, Coyote. At least this time I didn't use my shotgun uh, weirdly and destroyed the ammo pile over here. Last time I accidentally destroyed the ammo pile and didn't realize I did it until it was too late. All systems go. How no, may I you help? don't. No, no, no. That could actually easily uh, mean the death of you. If you try and grab your uh, glute or something and the turret gets in your way. And there's a zombie right behind you. Okay, all of this stuff can easily go inside my vehicle, but let's just quickly do this. My HP is looking fine, right? Yeah, if my HP was low, it would actually show. Because like I said, it's definitely worth checking out Grounded. Um, as a 7 so I fan myself, I can actually vouch how nice that game is. It starts off a little bit slow, especially if you don't know anything about the game. But as soon as you start picking up, oh, this is how this works, this is how that works, all of a sudden, man, it gets so much easier. And so much nicer as well. Okay, so now we can go inside and clear this place. I think we're supposed to go to the front, right? Gotta be careful of ferals and stuff. Oh, did I put that serrated blade away? Do I already have one on my... Let you check. Ooh, titanium club. I might actually try and use this. Okay, let me just really check here. We don't have the serrated blade on. Let's just really put this on. Because I want to make sure we can do some bleed damage to the zombies as well. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Serrated, it, serrated. It. There you go. Modify. I need to try and see if I can't also upgrade some of these mods because they need it. Oh, you can't have the heavy weighted, heavy weighted head mod on there and that. That's fine. I want to bleed more than knock them down, so that's okay. I mean, that's not great. Not ideal, but still. If I can knock down a zombie and have them bleed on the floor, you waste, you uh, uh, save some ammo. And you also save a lot of stamina. 
Guys, remember to smash that like button if you like what you see. It really does help the channel. I want to get to a point where all my videos get like 100 likes and stuff. That would be awesome. I can't wait for that moment. At the moment, the views aren't high enough to match the likes. Um, usually, say for example, a video gets like 400 views. They have about 20, 30 likes. Some of the War of the Walkers videos have like 40, 50 likes. Um, but yeah, I need to at least get like a thousand views per video just to get a hundred likes. I didn't know this was... Did I know this was yeah? This looks new to me for some reason. Grass ingots. Okay, I need you to remember where all the zombies can come from in this place. You need to be careful. There's a feral coming around the corner over here. Welcome to the zombie uh, apocalypse, recruit. Channel. Thanks for subscribing. I still have to change those uh, notifications, but I still don't know what I want to change them to. My senses have picked up something. Please do not infect me or break my arm right now. Like I said, guys, I tried changing that uh, that notification uh, to just like a scream of seven eight light, but there's four different notifications or different alerts. It's for subscriptions, uh, memberships, super chats, and donations. So I need to make sure I have four different ones and there's only one screamer, so I don't know why I'm going to do that. And to have the screamer uh, a sound effect for all four of the alerts is going to get boring. Why did I... Why are you guys floating? I don't want the table, thank you. Probably just check for safes and stuff too. But don't always check and then sometimes there is. Have to be careful, sometimes the zombies just fall out the roof all of a sudden. So if I hear a creaking sound, we have to stop what we're doing and just look up. Side, there might be scorpions there, be careful. Okay, so we have to go this direction then. I do need to see if I can't pick up all of these lights, because I think if I can get all of them, we can get quite a bit of resources. I should actually see which ones are really worth picking up. It's not obviously not all of them is gonna be worth it, but the ones that are worth it, we need to pick all, pick up all of them. Oh, hello. Make sure we reload. There's a problem right now. We're gonna get so many ferals. And darkness falls when we get oh to a higher stage like this. All we have to worry about is like demons and stuff. And this one we have to worry. I, I'm more worried about ferals than I am about demons and darkness falls. <laughs> Are you bleeding? No, you're not bleeding. It's just a small bleeding chance effect. That is a shame. I need to bleed them as much as possible. If that leads upstairs, we have to do the bottom first. Wonder, can I destroy it with one shot? Yeah. It's not worth picking up if we can just do this. If it's one shot, we, uh, we destroy it. If it's two shots, then we go and pick it up. I'm actually liking the fact that our lock-ping skill is so high. And the, the, I think it's maxed out. Now all we have to focus on... All we have to focus on is um, having a ton of bobby pins in us and we can actually lock-pick as much as we want. Probably be using my knife for this. Although I don't know what I'm picking that up for because in this mod you don't really need them. If this was Darkness Falls you'd definitely be needing them. Because the only reason I'm actually really li um, like hoarding stuff in this game is the fact that you need so much resources to do everything. This is a very grindy game. But the more stuff you pick up, even though it takes a little bit of extra time, the more it's going to help you later. I want to make my own end game base, like a massive, massive base. And to be able to do that, we're going to need so much resources. It's insane. You have to be careful that nothing drops from the top. That's where the library is. All grip we don't need. Be careful that the sleepers don't wake up right now. Okay, now we go upstairs. Reload. That's not at the wrong time this time. I think you can pick all of these up in one go. Yep. Now there will be zombies falling out the roof and stuff. Crap. 
Oh, you are fast. You are fast. You are fast. I don't mind fa fighting even the radiator dudes when they're feral. But the bikers and the fat Hawaiian dudes. Man. The amount of damage they can inflict because they're like um, charging tanks. Not glass tanks, like actual charging tanks. They're super fast and they're super strong. So you try and take them down, you try and take them down, you can barely do any damage to them. Do you know gravy? Ah, I might actually make that. These other recipes actually are oh, mining tools. Scrap that one. We're going to mine it anyway, so that's going to up that. But yeah, uh, any foods that might give us a ton of um, food and HP and stuff, we'll definitely go and read that schematic. Will the cob? No. Rock launcher? Yes. Thank you. I do have a crappy rock launcher, but now I can actually make my own rock launcher. Jump that. I think this is how you're supposed to pass, right? And then you go up on the roof like this. Okay, now where are you? Oh wow. Damn it! It feels like sometimes the vultures can hit you from an angle that you can't. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be that many tough zombies up here, so I can just jump on top like this and deal with them. Zombie biker, at least you're not feral, so I don't have to worry too much. But that's just because it's not feral, guys, you can't afford to um, take your eye off them. Ooh, yeah, 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 we can't have too many zombies next to each other because they will stand on each other's heads. And I just realized they're uh, standing on a lip over here. That's why they're hitting me so easily. The fence is too high, but uh, the block they're standing on makes it just like one and then a half high. So it's easier for them to hit us. Checking for some air cons. The more iron pipes you can actually get from these air cons, the richer we're going to become in iron. What are you guys doing at the moment? Enjoying dinner? Playing games? Or you're just uh, chilling watching the stream? I wonder sometimes how many people that are lurking um, are, are just are, like listening to it in the background and who's actually watching lurking. As you remember that if I do place my turret down, I'll just go and pick it up. It's easy to forget actually. Okay, we could jump down there, but there's to be no benefit for that. So we're supposed to jump down here then, because there's lights over here. No. Yes? Yeah, over here. This almost looked like the one classroom where there was stuff caving in, so I thought that... Uh, nope. We should... Yeah, we're definitely supposed to be here. Oh, please don't tell me there's gonna be a soldier. I really struggle at taking down the soldiers. Let's close this. I need to actually keep, see if I can't keep some, um... Oh, you're gonna bleed for 20 seconds. Nice. I need to see if I can't keep some slugs on me that in case we encounter some soldiers, we can just uh, kill them that way. Because normal ammo just isn't cutting it against these dudes. They're way too OP. Hunting blocks, walk through the stream. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and me both. But at least I think... We should be able to deal with this. I know that the, I think I already did the final stash. So the final zombies and stuff, we don't have to even worry about them. But dogs and stuff over here we have to worry about. We want to make sure we close the doors behind us as well. We don't want any baddies follow us, pulling us over here. Always, always, always close the doors so you don't have to worry. At least if you close the doors, you can hear the banging so you know where, where they are or where they're coming from. If you don't close that door, it's just all of a sudden going to smack you in the back. I wish there was a way to pick up the stuff faster. Like there's a skill you can upgrade where if you just double tap E or hold E down or something, it picks it up for you. And way faster than currently because this is still super slow. Since, beginning till, uh, since the beginning of the game till now, the speed of the picking up of the items has been the same. I 
I have to be careful. Zombies are going to be faster. Okay, we could go for Covert. Sneak damage plus 50%. Uh, Hacky that's for looting. Small Skull Crusher is just for like um, clubs and stuff. I need something for a spear. Full damage. Now we don't need any of that stuff. Sometimes I never, I never know whether there's going to be a zombie in the roof or not. Even if the roof is only one block deep like that, guys, uh, some of the sleepers are sleeping down or laying down. So when they start to get active and stuff, they stand up and then they fall through the roof. So just because the, there's a one by one block gap above the roof doesn't mean there can't be zombies there. It just means that there's sleeper, there might be some sleeper zombies there. Okay, let's close this. Should probably lockpick both doors so I don't have to worry about a uh, scramble of, oh no, which one's unlocked? Just in case we get uh, charged at like a um, soldier or something. That leads down to the Oh, Yep, there's definitely a soldier, so I'm gonna have to run back and forth like this. Crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okie dokie. See, when it comes to soldiers, I'm already crappy, and when it comes to radiator soldiers, I need a better gun. I wonder if I shouldn't uh, carry the adjudicator with me for situations like this. Damage per second weapons. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Okay, at least we do have honey this time. So we can cure the infection. When they fall out the roof, you see, this roof is just one by one, but they actually fell out the roof just now. Is this a wandering horde? I'm hoping not. Okay, nice. Spear skills already 45. Are we supposed to come down here afterwards? This is the second half of the school. This, I'm guessing, is a shop class. Although, what's it doing up here? Ooh, aviation engine and then uh, this uh, thing over here. There's a lot of uh, weight getting added to me, so I should probably pick some stuff on my turret. Oh, not turret, my drone, so I don't have to worry about being too encumbered. Just sort my weight. And then every now and then we just make sure we chuck a few of these things that can stack. Okay, so go this way. There's nothing more. Yeah, we're supposed to go down now. I actually want to see if I can't find more games like Grounded and Seminace Deny and stuff. Obviously, I want to first finish Grounded. I don't know if I should finish Grounded and then do a WoW series about it. Or if I should finish Grounded, then play another game, and then after a while, come back to a WoW series. For those of you who don't know, WoW is basically like the insane difficulty for that game. As far as I'm aware. Okay, now we go down. My shotgun's getting low on uh, durability and my turret. Okay, at least we uh, reloaded the turret just now. Have to be careful for broken legs and stuff. At least with a staircase like this, even if they're feral, you just shoot at their heads. It's so much easier shooting from an upward angle. No, shooting from the top at a downward angle. There you go. Um, I'm guessing we're supposed to go this way. Hello, hello, hello. Remember that was sliding to the side, but I didn't realize I was pushing the wrong button just now. This here is getting squashed. To actually see if I can't get a bigger headset. I don't want a noise cancelling one. At the moment, I have to do this, but I expose my one ear just so I can make sure I'm not talking too loud too late at night. But if I had one that wasn't noise cancelling, I'd be able to hear myself speak so I can cover both ears properly. No lights? No way. That's a lie. They're all lights. 
So far, almost all the rooms I went in didn't have lights because the roof was broken. It feels weird to look up and actually see some. And I've noticed every single floor had a different kind of light down. See, these lights, the lights we just got, and then those other studio kinds of lights. There's a mixture of all of them. Be careful, just now there's a dog or something in here. This is the, stu uh, the teacher's kitchen, I think. No lights. Master, we are not alone. You don't say. You mean that zombie that I hear? I love it when the drone tells you that it's a zombie when you can't see the zombie. But as soon as you hear the zombie, then I mean, yeah, I hear it too. Okay, this is a bathroom, right? No, yeah, it's a bathroom. I wonder if the zombies downstairs have respawned already or not. Come on, pick up. There might be some hidden stashes and stuff in the roof, guys, but I don't know this POI well enough to actually go for them. Sometimes when the roof is just like one by one like this and you look up, there's like a weapons bag or ammo bag or something. Ammo pile, I mean. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a ton of dogs this side. So that's one thing I need to be careful of right now, the dogs. I would do a really difficult series when it's fresh. And I says still know the game, otherwise you have to relearn the game. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any zombies in there. We can actually go for the lights. But now again, we don't have frames to stack up there because I forgot to bring the frames. Although if I can jump on this, we might be high enough to actually grab stuff. I think I already went for the final stash over here when I passed uh, by uh, while I was driving by. Let me just do this. Do not trust an open door like that, thank you. It feels like I'm super, super encumbered right now, so that's actually kind of bad. What if I can't drop a few more things on you? Barely. Stack by weight. This, this stuff's not really that heavy. I don't know why... If that's the heaviest stuff on me, then I don't have to worry. My vehicle is... Uh, all the way to that side. I was about to say, if my vehicle was right next door, I could just quickly go dump stuff. Technically, I could still. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. I don't like enclosed spaces like this. My anxiety goes through the roof. I just because, yeah, I have to first make sure there's no zombies that can actually bother you over here. But even still, then, there's sometimes zombies that don't hear you and then all of a sudden just wake up when you're not prepared. Is, is this really how American, sco what American schools look like? There's a locker room with like showers like this. Because in South Africa, we don't have that. Okay, so yeah, we've definitely looted this place already, which means the people in the roof... Oh, okay, I, I didn't go for all of them. There's still a few tough ones up there. So, I could just go for these lights, or I could leave them. I wonder if I can actually reach them from the floor. I'm standing half on the bench over here. Uh, see, there's so many lights, they might be worth using. So, let's just see if I can't get the attention of one at a time right now. That's one down. That radiator one's going to be the toughest one yet, so I want to take down these other ones first. And that's a bad shot. I should be able to use the spear. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the turret down. And should only start shooting at him once I've hit him. So he's going to fall down here and then my turret's going to help me shoot him while he's down here. Ooh! Ooh, crap. That's not good. Okay, these ones, I thought I took down uh, all of them last time, but it seems I didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. Just before I shot, I, was, I saw this 
brown thing next to us. Like, what the hell? Oh, soldier. Oh, that was not fun. <laughs> that was not fun at all just now. I thought I cleared out all the zombies over here when I went for the final stash. It seems I didn't. At least I can jump high enough so I don't have to worry about placing frames down for this stuff. Oh, that was not fun just now. <laughs> I'm just glad. See, normal sol it seems normal soldiers are way easier to kill. Wait, is that a wandering horde right now? Damn. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I don't have any frames left to put over there. This might get really bad right now. Oh, crap. Doggy. I think you see the dog mixed in there just now. Oh, hello. You can do that door as well. They're clever enough to go through multiple doors at least this time. You usually have to, uh, go through like one door and then you have to just protect that one door. Ooh, not good, not good. Yeah, get stuck down there. If I can make a base where they have to crawl through stuff like that and they can't hit anything, that might be cool. Force them to crawl to get to me. Wasting too many shots. There's still a nurse down there. So far, there's been like three jump scares or surprises in this uh, one POI. On the one hand, that's cool. <laughs> On the other hand, that sucks. All of a sudden, just hearing something next to you or see something in the corner of your eye. I just want to see if I can't do like a co-op series in um, Grounded. Whether it be with uh, patrons or whether it be with my brother or someone, I just I think it's gonna be funner doing the uh, co-op with that one. I oh, know, way more fun. Yeah, English. Okay, I should technically arrange all these vehicles to be able to now. I just wanna get out of here. Hello, doggy. I don't think it's just you. There's one behind me as well. I heard the growling from behind, not from in front. Oh, okay. Um. Do I really need the frames? We can actually go for this treasure map of here as well, while we are. At the moment, yeah. Uh, I, I might need the frames to get away from stuff, but I don't know if I should do it right now. I managed to clear this place with... Oh, but now I don't have any frames, so if there's a door or something open, we have a problem. Can't just block a, uh, block a door with a frame, although... You can just pick up any loot and then place it in front of the door, that should also work. Oh, that is the Bates Motel, right? That might be a tough one to clear. And now we have a problem of how we're going to reach this. I don't have any frames to stack at the moment, so I'm going to have to try and... Okay, uh, let's see if I can't use a dustbin. I should probably see, uh, go back to the base and see if we can't make those um, superior kits and all that stuff. There you go. A boot marker plan. Farmer makes a plan. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. The base motel might actually be a tough one to clear right now. Especially if we don't have enough uh, frames on us. The thing is, usually I can just place a frame or something in front of the door. But the zombies have to first break through that, and then we can deal with them while they're breaking through. So if we have like a radiated soldier, you guys see, I've seen how tough it is to take one of them down the, in, with a vindicator shotgun. If we encounter one of those, we might have a problem. Are you going to come out when I get closer? I'm going to wait for it to jump again. Oh no, it's coming out. My senses have picked up something. Okay, over there's the farm with the loot inside, so let's go. Yeah, this is the Bates Motel. Should probably go do it, but eh. Eh. The problem is you get the same POIs over and over and over again. So that when you're doing different series, even though I haven't... I don't think I've done the Bates Motel in this series before. Have I? Oh, did I just destroy the ammo again? Damn. No, I didn't. I didn't shoot that, did I? I shot it was while it was there and then did melee of here, so that just disappeared on its own. But anyways, um, 
I've gotten this PRI in so many other series that when you get in this one, it's like, ah, eh, I don't really feel like looting it. That's why I wish that they could actually uh, add way more PRIs. That the chance of you actually doing the same one, even if you're doing multiple series, the chance of you doing the same PRI is so low. That would be amazing. Oopsie. That was close. Damn, where are you guys coming from? At least you guys are not feral, so I can actually take you down easier. Oops. I do need to repair my shotgun soon as well, because it's taking some severe damage. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Let's just put this away. Hey, Killer Bunny, welcome to the stream. Did you pick up your turret? Yes, I did. It's on me. And hey, you Flo, welcome to the stream. It's a good thing you asked, because I, I have had a few times where I forgot to do it. Was oh, that a wolf or... Yeah, it's a wolf. Okay, no, that's just messed up. Oh, don't reload now. Mm. Oh, I have the poison and uh, poison resistant uh, mods on. Oh, usually that would have actually definitely poisoned me just now. I'm so glad I put those mods on. Okay, where is all this noise coming from? Sometimes like you're a, a zombie from a certain point on the map, but then you can't pinpoint where it's coming from. Like he just sounded like he was coming from over there, but he was coming from over here. And that scorpion made it all over here. I'm just glad we actually had a poison resistant mod on right now. Like I said guys, usually just one sting from a, a scorpion is enough to infect me. And now it's a little bit it was a little bit better. It's a little bit, teeny tiny bit. Oh yeah, there's loot in the roof. Damn. And, uh, which it was Darkest Falls that I did one of these recently. I forgot there's loot in the roof over here. How do you get up there again? Um, I completely, completely forgot there's actually loot up there. Almost. One more thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to place this on top. Yeah, well, nice. I completely forgot that there's some loot. Well, not a lot of loot, but there is some loot over here on the roof. Oh, jackhammer, a quality. I was just saying, guys, in the beginning of the stream, for those of you that missed it, I tested out the, um, the Valkyrie drill. We got like 2,000 iron ore and 500 titanium ore in like 20 minutes. It was insane how fast we could get resources. I was like, oh man, I know the jackhammer schematic. Why haven't made it before? I was actually uh, mad at myself for not making the jackhammer before because we have the recipe. And now we actually find the jackhammer itself, so I want to go test it. Although I wonder if it's supposed to be used for a certain object. Can you go and use a jackhammer on dirt or is it meant for stone? Or does it just do bonus damage to stone but you can use it for both? Okay, um, don't want to get shocked over here but there is a room here. There's stuff inside. See, you actually go into that room and then you drop down into this room. I forgot that he actually dropped down into this, so I forgot there's loot inside. At least there wasn't that much loot that we missed, but it could have been a ton. I mean, this- no, this is not the room. Huh? Ooh, did I just get an upgrade? Yes, I got a massive upgrade. My compound bow is way better than my S quality iron bow. So that's why I never swapped to the S quality iron crossbow. But now that I get an A quality compound crossbow, it's definitely a massive upgrade. Finally. It just took how long? <laughs> As we're already on day 73, can you believe it? It feels unreal. Okay, at least we do have lockpicks, so that should be easy enough. Hello, loot, sweet loot. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
schematic we can scrap. I should actually scrap them as we get them. Now there's a zombie waiting on that door, so I want to kill him before he gets inside. As long as you're not a soldier and open up the door, then I'm fine. This place was hard to clear in Darkness Falls, guys, because we're getting normal demonic sleepers now. So especially when you're inside the house itself. This is still just the outskirts. Uh, but yeah, the, the final room itself, um, I had so many demonic zombies in when I cleared it in one of my episodes. I think it's in an oncoming episode, don't hit me. We could just go through the bathroom area over there, but you can also just do this. And then go down over here at the back. There's no lights and stuff over here for some reason. Okay, so we do have our shotgun. Let's just reload. I only have three shots left. This I want to be careful of. If there's a soldier down here, I might have a problem. The, the normal soldiers, like I said, guys, I can kill them easily. But the radiator ones. They're just way tougher for some reason. I need to use my turret way, way more at the moment, especially in this room. Uh, change the XP gain in Darkest Falls to 150 instead of 50%, so you see the big scary bosses faster. Yeah, I'm actually thinking of uh, increasing the um, XP. My senses have picked up something. For those of you don't know, in my Darkest Falls series, I'm playing on 50% XP, but man, the progression is slow. Like basically, usually by now, I'd be classified as end game. But just because we haven't we haven't encountered any of the bosses above Su uh, succubus and incubus, we, have, we don't haven't um, encountered the patriarch, the monarch, uh, the enhanced uh, empowered demonic behemoths, and then the the demon lord thing that we're gonna face. I'm thinking of at least making it 100 percent because that alone will be way faster leveling. Compared to how slow I'm leveling at the moment, it's definitely way faster. I need a titanium pick as soon as possible. My steel pick is kind of fine, it's one shot one shotting most resources. But if you had a titanium pick, you'd be able to do so much more damage. Yeah, please don't tell me there's a radiated soul genius somewhere. Fails, I don't mind. Like I said, fails, as long as they run in a straight line as well, it's so much easier killing them. I have a fear of a soldier. Incoming enemies, prepare At the moment, the I'm actually left. thinking of swapping my uh, Darkest Falls and more of the Walkers episodes around. Instead of doing four Darkest Falls, I do four War of the Walkers. Um, because I'm so far in Darkest Falls. But on the other hand, if I want to finish one series so I can try another series before um, Alpha 21 comes out, then I need to keep Darkest Falls in the four episodes so it finishes faster. So we're supposed to go through there. Let's just close that for now. It's just such a shame you can't pick up the clay as well. I mean, all of these resources I can actually one-shot right now. I don't have to pick up anything. But later when you have the Rockbuster candy and you have all your uh, skills and stuff maxed out, then it's way more worth it uh, going and destroying all this cement. Especially since we need so much concrete mix, it's insane. Okay, I think this room is done. Where's my drone? Oh. I was about to ask, where's my drone? Can't see it. Uh, should probably drop all of this stuff in my vehicle as well, because now that's just taking up unnecessary space. I'm actually thinking... Um, this series, I don't know how far I can actually take this series, because like I said, I still have to do a final base and stuff. But guys, we haven't even used the iron doors and all this fancy... Uh, just, there's so much in the game that we still haven't used. Um, but I'm either thinking of replacing this with another mod soon. Or finishing Darkest Falls and replacing that with another mod soon. 
just quickly swap my iron arrow bolts. Thank you. Because basically both of them, Darkest Falls and this one's technically really far in the game already. So I could actually go swap out both of them. Um, but I'm actually thinking of doing like a stream in Darkest Falls and then a series on Apocalypse Now. But I know a lot of people like this series, so I, I don't really want to end it that easily. The problem is, I don't know how many people actually enjoy... If I make a post asking, what do you guys want to see? Master, I have 5,000 subscribers, but almost only uh, I only get like 10 or so comments. So now I change the series just for those few comments, and then the majority of the people are like, nah, they don't, they don't agree, they don't like it. And obviously, uh, it's my channel, I should do what I want with it. But also, I want to get you guys' opinions on it so I actually get the views still. If I just go and change stuff how I please, then there's a lot of people that will stop watching because they don't like, enjoy it anymore. Definitely a zombie in here somewhere. Where? Knew it. Hidden behind the couches. I was like, what the hell? There's usually a zombie over here. Where is he? I don't want to uh, drop my um, card and all of a sudden I get a broken leg or something. Okay, we have to get back to the base and start making titanium. Or rather, we have a, a ton of titanium, we just have to go use it. Can't wait. Okay, that room's gonna get overrun soon. This bathroom, yep, usually has a sleeper inside. See, I crouch and then fire the crossbow bolt to make sure that I don't draw too much attention. And then even I sometimes make sure that I'm standing far enough away from the zombies so that they can't hear me. But then you have a zombie right next door or something that hurt you and then you're screwed. Okay, let's just see what's behind this door. I've no, this is not the proper way to pause. Yeah, it's definitely not the right way to pause, so I'll just go this way around then. This is the final room over here, so technically if I can clear this out, we don't have to worry. There's usually just one zombie inside over there. And it's more or less right there. There's one zombie around the corner over there. Guys, I know this PI so well, that's why I wish I could actually get a PI where I really don't know anything about it. But that's mostly just for the combo packs where you get PIs like that. I've done this PI like 10 times already, and just with those 10 times, you know so much about the mod. About the, the PI. The only reason I know there's a zombie here is because in Darkest Falls it's a demonic zombie. So that's something you have to be on the lookout for. I wonder if the wolf is going to be able to break through. Although I think there are barbed fences in between us and the wolf, so I shouldn't be able to make it through. How many of you, when you play this game, do this? You're trying to look around, around something, like doing it in real life will actually help you. Okay. Quiet. I have no idea where these zombies are, but I want to be quiet. Uh, especially if there's a feral soldier back here. The turret's going to start shooting it, though, as soon as we give it an opportunity to. If I could uh, go and bow all of them without them uh, seeing me, that will help us so much. Just you, right? There you go. Need to be uh, need to be a stealthy little ninja. Wait, is there something up here? No. There's actually a very nice way to actually hide from a wandering horde or something that comes after you here. Because they have one frame on you, you can actually just quickly pop up there and then they can't get to you. I mean if they if they all stack up on top of each other, you might be screwed, but other than that. The fact that we're getting Iron Rebar and stuff makes it worth going for these. There are one or two, I can't remember. You know, sometimes there's multiple zombies in a place like this, so you have to be super careful. 
There could be one standing that we just got and then one laying down. Come on, swap. Right behind you. Um, guys, what is the one uh, change, the, the update? Because I'm still playing on version 2.6.17, or is that the updated one? I know there was a change done, I think, to like where you're swap, swapping weapons and stuff. There was some kind of change done with that, but I don't know what change that is. I think I might be actually on the uh, later save now that I see the 0.17. Okay, we want to do this. We want to go and place this right in front of the door over there. Because there's a sleeper on this side. In my Darkest Falls game, there was a demonic zombie on this side, and that kind of sucks. Hello, no zombies up here. Oh yeah, this is the room you're supposed to fall into. So you're going to face a ton of zombies downstairs. There's a zombie right here where I just blocked off. And then you come through and you just drop down this hole and then there's going to be a zombie inside. In my Darkest Falls gameplay, guys, um, it's starting to get way, way tougher. Because we're starting to get demonic behemoths. Not demonic behemoths. I just, you're starting to get behemoths all over. Like as sleepers inside of buildings. That's kind of terrifying. And it's usually, for example, this room where you drop down and there's all of a sudden you're stuck in a room with a zombie. That's when it turns out, oops, there's a, a, a behemoth over here. I keep wanting to say demonic behemoths for some reason. Nice. Nice. Oh, apparently War of the Walkers also has like a broadcasting system. I just realized that. I was looking at a, a TBF gaming dude. I one of his videos and he was like, oh, you just enable Wi-Fi. Over I was like, what? Since when was that an option in, in War of the Walkers? I know Undead Legacy does it and Grounder does it, but War of the Walkers? Okay, can I get these guys stealth? I'm hoping he's not a feral because he won't he'll be able to tank this. Nice. There's another dude in there somewhere. Huh? Oh, right there. Normally I was like, I know there's another zombie back here, but where is it? Okay, so done. Nice. I need to get back to the base as well and grab all those frames and also put all of this in the recycling station. I think we should be able to get quite a bit of resources for this and I want to start using the titanium. Now that we finally have titanium, I want to start using it. I'm like, I'm like a kid on Christmas day. Titanium! Okay, um... See, we are supposed to climb up here then, face this lady over here, and then go over here and drop down. But... I don't trust this. <laughs> Sometimes a zombie doesn't even show that it's spawned in, and then you're screwed. There you go. There's always only one zombie in here. And when it's like a behemoth or something, then you're screwed. Because especially when the zombies don't spawn in when they're supposed to spawn in, I hate that. At least if they spawn in on time, and you can see what's down there, it's fine. But if you drop into a room and then all of a sudden, like, uh, imagine a, a demon lord in, in Darkest Falls spawns in right next to you, you're screwed. There's no way. Especially if you don't have any frames like me. You, you, I don't have frames, so I can't get away. We need to eat and drink as well. I still want to be able to one-shot these boxes, but I'm still just doing that much damage in one shot. So I wonder if I go for the a mining skill, whether I'll be able to max it out or not. Okay, Crippler mod we don't need. Iron machete we can sell and first aid kit, thank you. Open that up and we just leave. We can actually drop the most of the stuff we have on us right now. We can stack over here. That's barely anything. And then we just dump downstairs. Okay, so we need to get to our base now. Let's just mark on the map where we have been and where we still need to go. And then yeah, we need to go we need to get to our base, guys. We need to start using the titanium and the steel and stuff. And then to see if we have enough steel and titanium for the Horde Knight. We still have to do so much repairs or so many repairs at the base. I'm actually stuck between whether we should go for a full titanium floor or if we should go for a double uh, thick steel floor or something. I don't know which one's going to be better for us in the long run. Imagine we hit a vehicle and it goes boom. The only problem is because your vehicle is also a vehicle, it's also going to go boom. I've only ever once had a vehicle explode on me. That was in Darkest... No? That was in Apocalypse Now. And my buggy explode on me. 
They didn't see it was taking too much damage from the demolisher that exploded, and then a screamer went and just smacked it. So it is later. Okay, cool. Huh. I thought I was still on a point sixty, and I was like, oh, I should probably go and update as soon as possible. So the fact that I'm already on that version, that's cool. Okay, so uh, let's see where we are right now. Uh, down we can take away and then put over here down. We're actually almost very close to being done with the outskirts of here. Although, yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> but there are quite a few awesome POIs in the outskirts. So even though we're not doing the current the town currently as well, at least this is worth it. Uh, some of these POIs have some really good loot. If I can stick to just doing melee, we can save so much ammo. And then obviously we gain ammo and resources and stuff from getting all the final stashes in these POIs. Every time I drive past you, I just scan with my eyes, where should we still go? I'm looking for more resources though. At the same, this town is so lackluster. There are a few awesome POIs over here that I really want to check out. But most of the buildings are like, eh, have I done them before or not? They're forgettable basically. Okay, first thing we need to do is make some superior kits. My base is that side. Yeah, well, if we can make a few superior kits, we'll be able to repair the Valkyrie drill. I also want to st start the farm, uh, the farm over here. I want to go and um, cave in that hole, whatever that thing is, farming tool. Uh, I want to cave it in so we can go and just make our own farm. And it's better just to do this now. Because I'm so full, I need to be able to reach the... Can I reach it? Oh, nice! My vehicle actually gave me a little bit of a nudge. I thought I might have to drop some stuff in the vehicle, climb on the ladder, and then grab the stuff. See, that's not going to work for me. I need to move the stuff around just a little bit. Just so I don't have to jump to get through here. Weightlifting level 37, not bad. Okay, so let's see. Ammo, guns, stuff like that. Ooh, hello. I love, guys, I, I can't get, uh, get enough of this. The fact that you can go and you can scroll down. This recog's over here. If you do this, the recog's still there. In vanilla and other mods, if you go into a different container, it pops all the way back to the, uh, to the top and you have to go scrolling back down. It's actually a really awesome feature to be able to do that. Okay, so this is a B quality. I think this one is a C quality. I need to make sure we're constantly... No, that's A quality. We need to make constantly sure that we have the best of the best items on there. That's a C quality, so we can put the B quality on. And then this one... That's an E, but that's just for overall block damage. We already have this one, that's a B. Okay, so that we don't have to put on that then. At least for now, I need to make sure we go and update. Now that we can almost upgrade our maintenance station, we'll soon be able to go and... I've got a bad feeling about some this. Stuff away. What? The game just froze for a second. Um, but yeah, I need to now go and see if I can't upgrade the maintenance station to get a little bit further. As soon as we can update the maintenance station, it's going to be so much better. Armor goes down there. I'm just going to put the clothing in there for now as well. Most of the stuff I'm going to go uh, sell anyway, so there's no point in me keeping it on me. Food and drink. Farming and stuff as well. Honey. I should probably keep the honey on. Ooh, the mineral water we definitely keep on us. Even though we already have a few jars of here. Guys, this mineral water pulls you up so well. We technically don't even need the golden rod right now. As long as we have mineral water, we are sorted for a while. Okay. Recyclable. Put most of that stuff in there. And miscellaneous. It's also recyclable. And then what else do we have? Recycle, recycle, recycle. I should probably see if we can't put all of this stuff in the recycling station as soon as possible. Just to get some space over here. Iron machete will sell. Yeah, it needs an NPC mod as well. But then again, um, at the moment, the War of the Walkers, for example, the NPCs in that's, in my opinion, too vicious. Um, or not too vicious. They're just early game. You don't have a gun, you don't have melee, and then all of a sudden, a pistol-wielding NPC sees you from... Literally, the, uh, if the NPC's there, it'll, it's already seen you. All the way in that corner over there. How can they see you that far? The NPC's vision needs to be reduced a bit. I feel. Okay, uh, let's see. Mm, let's put that. I'm gonna technically go sell this, sell this. 
Each resistance goes up with this one. What are we wearing right now? Okay, so we can sell that. We can sell... Now nah, I'm going to go for running speed. We can sell this. Sell the tough guy glasses. I don't want really to have too many glasses on me anyways. We can go and scrap this, scrap this, and then for now we're done. I need to repair my Valkyrie drill as soon as possible and hopefully also go upgrade it. I'll sell, sell, sell. Sell the aviation engine because we're not going to make a plane or anything. I should probably see what I can't, uh, uh, all of this stuff, uh, what I can go and use right now in the, in the recycling station. The sooner we can put it in there, the better because this stuff is just piling up at the moment. And then later it's going to be so confusing as to which is supposed to go where. Okay, let's do it now. So I'm going to take the bed. Uh, the transformers unfortunately can't go in there. TVs, pipes, bed, working lights, these. I want to make sure I don't accidentally take apart something I can sell. I have done that in the past and that kind of sucks. Okay, um, this one as well. Recyclable, yes. Whoa, a little bit heavy at the moment, damn. Oh, there's a plane that just dropped loot. I just saw the plane fly away. I was like, oh, where's the loot? I should probably use a motorcycle to quickly go fetch that, but unfortunately the motorcycle doesn't have its own mods on it at the moment. Uh, recycle. Oh, I still have to come uh, connect this. This is unfortunate. So now I first have to go get some wiring tools and wire this up. And you, you in this mod you need wiring tools and you need scrap cables. I've got a scrap bad wire. feeling about this. It actually makes sense uh, to actually have wires that you have to connect. This is kind of cool. You go from the generator to the recycling station. Turn on the generator and then make sure this is turned on. Guys, also, I have noticed, I don't know if it's been fixed yet, but an uh, update or two ago, basically, if you turn this off and the generator's still running, you lose gas. I don't think you're supposed to, but I definitely lost gas. Okay, so, uh, what do we need to upgrade? Oh yeah, now we actually have the other... Um, where's that thing? This. Yes, 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 yes. Oops. Okay, so we need to go for the maintenance station. I'm one away. Are you kidding me? Or oh, this one first. I need 10. Ooh, pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Please don't tell me the pipes are already gone. Huh? Oh, we're getting iron pipes from... Um, <laughs> we're, we're getting the iron pipes from the uh, air cons. So we're going to get way more iron as well. Okay, so that's iron pipes. I need four books. That's easy enough to make. Uh, research station. I hate making books because you w uh, waste your research slots and later you get them anyways. You're know, like, then what's the point? Why did I use it? Is this just random zombies now? Wreaking havoc over here? It, it seems so. Come on. Master, we are not the window you go. Where did you guys... That dude was down. No, he wasn't downstairs. It just looked like a busy crawling. It looked like he came from the console side. Just I was like, what the hell? Okay, so we do need to fix this base over here. If I can make this whole base steel at least, and then start with the titanium. Oh, the possibilities. Okay, thirty-four more minutes. Then we can do this one. Then for this one, what are we gonna need right now? The superior kit, more steel, and I'm gonna have to use up all my iron just to make so much steel. Okay, so over here we can actually uh, research the superior kit. Finally. I just want to make sure it actually uses the crappy one right now. Yes. If it accidentally used my uh, modded one, that would suck so bad. That's why I wanted to make sure I have both, uh, both on me. If you have one on your workbench and one on you, it uses the one on you, not the one in the workbench. This mod just has too many workstations. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot to get used to, but as soon as you're used to it, it's not that bad. If I can just get this one upgraded. The, the only real problem I have with this mod, guys, is the fact that it's so grindy. Other than that, I'm actually enjoying this. It is quite a bit grindy, but as soon as you get used to it, it's not that bad. But to be able to do this, uh, for this, for that, for the, it's, it's a lot of work to go into this. Where? Okay, I was about to say, where's the rest of this? I put it away. I don't want to make all of it. I just want to make 20. Because I want to make some nuts and bolts, and I, and I need that to make the nuts and bolts. Right? No, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Nuts and bolts. I want to make a titanium pick. <laughs> it's going to be an H quality. Guys, I'm going to be so mad right now. Watch. I'm going to make this H quality. That's the thing. In this mod, you make everything at H level, and then you have to upgrade it. 
I'm going to make this titanium pick now. Remember, we've had a titanium shovel for ages. We have had the titanium axe for ages. We still haven't found one titanium pick. I'm going to make this thing now. What do I bet you within a few episodes uh, or a stream or two we're going to have a, a better quality one than we're going to loot it? Because sometimes as soon as you have something, all of a sudden it's just easier to get. Okay, so I'm going to make about 20 because it's times 5. Then we have some to spare for later. And be careful not to get too heavy right now because I can't move with all the stuff on me. Okay, this is still busy making. Okay, now we have the titanium pick. How much more damage? See, at the moment, the, the B quality steel axe obviously does way more damage than my titanium pick over here because it's a crappy quality. But if I can just go and upgrade this, ho ho ho, 100% more damage to uh, ore and asphalt. 100% more damage to ore and asphalt. Great for breaking stone and harvesting minerals. Made out of very durable titanium, used for to mine rocks and ore. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, uh, we have the box downstairs. I'm so heavy right now, I can't move properly. I should make some more steel. We're gonna need this one for that. I don't wanna waste all the steel right now, so I'm gonna make about 100. I actually have to make the 150. Because if you think about it, we need 100 for the one workstation and then 50 I want to use to start upgrading and repairing my base. I, I am going to go mining a bit more as soon as we have the superior kit. Because we can then repair the Valkyrie drill, so it's going to be way easier getting it done. Okay, now we can actually make the superior kit, but I think my workstation is uh, level too low. It needs to be level 3 to be able to make it, right? Yep. That's expensive, look at that. 15 titanium plates for one superior kit, that's insane! That is insane. Okay, to upgrade this, what do we need? Ah, uh, do I really want to use all my steel right now? But I do need that superior... Oh, you know what? If we have enough cash, we can go to the trader and have it repaired at the trader. Why did I not think about that just now? I still have to go to the trader to hand notes uh, to retrieve supplies. If I can do that quest and hand it in before night time, we can actually get this done. Okay, this, I want to see how far we can actually upgrade this. If we can. Yeah, look at this. Insufficient station level. I can't even upgrade this thing. So at the moment, it's way, uh, it's useless. Until I can actually upgrade that, and then I'll be able to do it. But the superior kit, I can't even make right now. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna have to upgrade this. I need to have this, I've level 3, to make this. a superior kit, so that we can go and upgrade this with the superior kit. <laughs> I wonder if I shouldn't uh, pay a visit to all the traders on the map and see if they're not selling one, perhaps. If we're lucky, we might actually get one that does. Because this is just ridiculous. The way I said that just now sounded like um, uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> like I was casting a spell or something. Okay, so unfortunately, yeah, everything's... See, that's the biggest thing about this thing. It's it's a lot, very, very grindy. Everything is locked behind everything. You think you're finally somewhere and then like, oh no, you still have to do this and this and this. Okay, we can quickly go repair that at the trader then. Maybe the airdrop will treat... Oh, yeah. Guys, cross your fingers. Um, hold your thumbs. Um, and let's just use the motorcycle. I think it's going to be better to actually drive all over the map. I need to make more mods for these as well. Basically, I need to make sure that we can quickly go over the map quickly. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. Come on, stand up. I want to go for that airdrop, and then I also want to go and see if we can't uh, buy a superior kit. At the moment, even though it's a, it's going to be super expensive buying that superior kit, it's still going to be worth it. I'm just hoping that when we get there, we don't have a, a, a too little cash. I think the last trader we get to, we'll go for the Valkyrie drill. So for now, we're just going to see if we can't buy the superior kit, and the very last trader will go and repair, because it doesn't matter which trader it is, you can repair it any. So, the airdrop is where... That direction. Where's the red marker now? Huh? I'm looking at... Northwest. Oh, it's up here somewhere. I can't see it. Huh. Is it that far out of town? Okay, so, um, I could go for the airdrop. Uh, it's gonna be uh, up here somewhere. Where, though, is gonna be the problem, because I can't seem to see... Oh, it's over there. Yeah, it's close enough. Let's go for the airdrop first, and then we're going to go to traders and see if we can't get stuff done. I should probably see if we can't also just take a few things worth that we might be able to sell, and some fuel. Just in case we run out of fuel on the way there. 
Uh, sell. What can I sell? Okay, we can sell this, 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 this. We can sell the jackets. I want to repair the rest before we sell them. Even this. That's going to require steel to repair. And the glasses, perhaps. Just a little bit. Uh, we, you never know if that little bit of cash is going to make a difference with uh, what you can get. But guys, this airdrop has to have something good inside. I'm really hoping it's something great. See, the thing is, I need to upgrade the workstations, obviously. But I need 200 steel plates just for the workbenches. And then I need uh, about 200 steel plates just my work uh, for my uh, base. I want to upgrade my base first before I do any of the workstations. Come on. Let's just try uh, eye candy. I know this might be a waste. <laughs> just in case there's some really good loot over here. Who knows? I might get lucky now that we have the eye candy equipped. Nah. Oh, that was the crappiest bundle yet. That was absolute crap just now. Damn. Okay, we could probably go for the treasure map to see if we can get more cash, but then we have to go back to the base as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, uh, I need to make sure that we get to the traders before night time. So that we can actually see if we can buy- if, if we get there just be in, just after night time and you actually had a spear kit, that's gonna suck. Especially, I think the traders- no, the traders just reset for day 73. So all of them is gonna take at least like two or three more days to reset, right? I should be good to go. You know what, let me just do this. That bolt already saw me. You don't want to have just the slightest bit of damage, but if you just have one HP gone, the vultures think, ooh, dinner. Or lunch, in this regard, it's daytime. Guys, I'm so glad I actually bought this vehicle. I could have made my own, I think, as well, or just um, repaired it and grabbed it. But yeah, now that we have a motorcycle, imagine driving like this with the SUV. We wouldn't even be in this desert yet, we'd still be in town right now, that's how slow the SUV is. Reason time is going to be too much into the hills of here. I need to get back to the trader as soon as possible, but if I go too much into the hills, we won't be able to get out. It's going to be up there, I think. Okay, I'm going to have to jump off my vehicle and then climb this then. Or not. Let's see, let's see. Okay, not too bad. I thought it was going to be like on a very, very tippy top. But even just here. Oh no, this is bad. I'm uh, busy looking for a treasure. Ooh, a treasure on a hill like this. I, for a moment, I thought it was like a drop or something. A treasure on a hill like this, guys, is utter... It's really bad. Because um, that treasure could be anywhere up or down, sideways, left, right. I might just spend the whole day now digging for this treasure. Now I regret coming for this. Okay, I'm going to try and do power attacks. Oh, but my stamina is going down fast if I do this. If I can just do a little bit more damage, man. There's a tiny, teeny little bit more damage. If I go into strength, it needs to be level 7 for us to be able to get this. I'm going to have to waste all two points and I hope I level up to be able to go and pull up for this. If I can get minor, uh, minus 69 at level 5, I'll be able to go and one-shot these blocks easily. It's unfortunate that uh, we don't have the Valkyrie drill at the moment. I think that we've been able to get stuff done fast. Ooh, just realized I didn't grab my frames. Yep, and now we have this problem. As long as it's not a wandering horde. Oh, if I can get the treasure in two minutes, we might actually be able to uh, use the candy that we just used. Our food is very low, though. That's going to actually affect us. See, now we have to dig down as well, just to uh, not dig up. Not to get out of the hill. I don't mind if this cave's in right now, all I want is this treasure. And the faster the circle shrinks, the more it's going to help us, but at the moment it's not shrinking fast enough. I should probably have gone into my uh, my uh, digging skill first before going into the intellect or whatever just now. No, into strength. We just went into strength. Instead of going for strength, I should have gone for the treasure first. Because then it takes less hits, less destroyed blocks to be able to get the treasure. Oh, I just thought, oh, I had it. I had it when the texture looks like it actually like, has a hole behind it or something. You think, oh, yes, yeah, fine. Aww. I hate digging in a hill. 
Guys, if a one string horde comes now, we're screwed. You get that, alright? We're stuck over here. In like a cavern kind of thing that we're digging. So yeah, a wandering horde could easily come and wreck us right now. Okay, so the circle's shrinking towards behind me. It's gonna be over here somewhere. But now it can be down as well. That's why I said I hate digging on hills like this. Hey, yeah, where's it shrinking to? It's definitely gonna be over here somewhere. I just hope I don't accidentally need to cave it in. The problem with a hill like this is it could be up, it could be down, it could be sideways. It's very awkward on a hill. Heck, it could be even over here, inside the wall. Nope, it's not. Okay, so as soon as we see the outline over there, it's gonna be over here somewhere. I just hope- I've never actually had a treasure cave in on itself. But it's so- it's possible. If you're not careful, you dig the wrong spot, it's definitely gonna cave in. Because the sand- especially in sand. It might be too heavy and then it starts caving in. Am I going to have to break some stone now? It has to be here somewhere, right? I think I'm right on top of it. There's no way it's in the wall of here, is it? See, the circle can shrink all the way into like one by one block. But it sucks when you have to dig that much, that shrinks that much. Oh, there you go, there it is. Okay, let's just first put this on. Oh, the lucky uh, looter candy thing uh, ran out. Okay, 6,000 coin. At least now we should be able to upgrade the, or repair the, um, the Valkyrie drill and buy the spirit kit, if there's a spirit kit. And that's a big if. <laughs> okay, we have to go back down. Go this way. I'm just hoping we get to these traders now before nighttime, and that whichever trader we visit actually has the spear kit. I remember when we started the series, early, early, early game, when we didn't even have the cash road, we got so many superior kits at the traders. Now that we are late game and we actually need the superior kits, I haven't seen a single one. Granted, I have only been like to one trader or two traders at a time, and I haven't been to all of them, but still. In the beginning, we also only had like one or two traders, and we actually had a ton of these. If I do this, I can actually feel myself biting on that tooth. I'm just- I'm just really hoping I don't accidentally bite this thing out. But now the thing is, they also modeled- I wonder if they modeled this fake tooth thing that they put in. The stopgap. To the, um... Crown that they want to put in. If they did, then the crown's also gonna sit pro uh, poorly. Oh, that was nice. My whole neck just went- Ooh, it seems like there's a town. Oh, it might just be the town over there. It almost looked like there was another town in between us and this town we're looking for right now. For a moment there, before the trees, yeah, I can actually see the house right in between. The, oh, the tree just above my head just spawned in. Um, it's actually weird how sometimes you can see houses or pure eyes from so far away. It's actually nice that you can see them from so far away, even before the trees start spawning in, because then you know in, at least in which direction to travel. Mountain lion, mountain lion. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. No, 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 thank you. Do not want to fight. I could actually probably just quickly come get some meat over here. Just kill a few mountain lions and that's it. But we don't need the meat right now, so there's no point in wasting time. If this was Darkest Falls... Ooh, third one. If this was Darkest Falls, we'd have way, way, way more animals already. It'd be like uh, five mountain lions, two uh, bears, four... Uh, Dire wolves. The snow biome in Darker Souls is insane. Oh, we have to be careful of all of these uh, frozen scorpions now. I wonder which ones have a better chance of setting you or uh, infecting you. Because earlier we got stung by that one red one. Granted, we also now have uh, poison resist on. But yeah, the one um, scorpion stung us and we didn't really take that much damage. Come on. Now I'm through, now that scorpion's gonna get through too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They should change it so you can double tap that, that'd be so much better. If you can just double tap the door and it opens and closes on its own, awesome. 2.5. It seems 2.5 is the max. It's just a shame you can't upgrade at the trader as well. Meds? Drugs? 
Booze. Meds, I drugs, booze. Uh, really? Let me just quickly do this. Yeah, really. Yeah, okay, then. Okay, so let's see what you have for me. I need a superior kit. What's that? Suspension. Okay, let's go with Sue. I'm just going to copy that, and then we can do this. Nope. Okay, so no superior kits. Let's just see what else they do have while we're there, but I need to hurry up. I can't stay too long. I swear, if they now sell, they now sell a, re a really great quality titanium pick, I'm going to be mad. Although, it's going to be too expensive to buy, so I don't know if I should. Resources, we don't need, don't need, don't need. Okay, what does your friend have on the top floor? I'm glad I could help you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, triple storage pocket. I think we have triple storage it's pockets done. in all of my clothing, right? And that's a double. Okay. That's 1.2. It's a little bit expensive, but I mean, it's something. Oh, can we sell to you? Yeah, we can sell to you. I wonder if it makes a difference to whom you sell. Like, if you sell to him or her, do you get the same amount? Certainly. Certainly. This guy's actually very polite. Compared to the one dude by me. What do you want? Okay, so I think this is a new town in, of, uh, in and of itself, but I'm just going to go straight for this trader. The traders we know are on the map. Like, we know there's a trader there. I'm going to go for those. Wait, where am I supposed to? The moment I couldn't make out which way I was supposed to go. Um, guys, we still have to go to the wasteland and get half the lights and stuff there. <laughs> I just realized. I remember that we didn't even grab all the lights there, and we still have two turrets there. I need to make a land claim, and then I need to go pick up my two generators and two turrets over there. Or I could just leave those and make new ones, but that's a little bit expensive. Master, we are not alone. They should actually make like a, especially now with YouTube uh, and it's all its uh, profanity rules and stuff. Like they, they say that if you swear with like the first 15 seconds or something, then you can de get demonetized. But some people get demonetized even if there's like one swear word in the whole video. Um, so I wish there was an option that you can actually uh, change the dialogue to friendly or uh, like PC or um, non-PC. PG, I mean, not PC. PG. <laughs> to, uh, yeah, to uh, just be like profanity free and, uh, and just, yeah, just go for it kind of thing. I just realized PC is something different than PG. Come on, I need to be able to at least go to two more traders. One of you have to have a superior kit on you, right? Thank God, a customer. Um, you might be one of the dead. Don't see a superior kit over here. Nope. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, 3.3. See, I'm going to buy it anyways because we need it for the maintenance station. And I'm still going to go to the rest because we need more. It's super, 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 super expensive, but hey. Okay, that's actually really great. Um, Nothing else, right? Some shotgun ammo we have our own. I should probably get some more turrets because I, like I said, I have to go make new ones. Or just go get my old ones. And I don't know which is which one's going to be best for us right now. I wonder if there was a trader in our starter town or not. I just say traitor or trader. I need to adjust my speech due to this tooth. Every now and then, with certain words, your teeth hit each other as you talk. And then as soon as it happens, uh, before it actually goes down all the way, my mouth stops because I'm afraid I'm going to break the tooth. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually happy that I started doing just the four hour streams as I try doing like five to eight hour streams every single day But my back just can't handle it doing four hour streams even when I'm look to for example today now I'm a little bit more awake at least <laughs> When I started the stream I was so out of it so tired uh, But yeah sticking to the four hour streams is easy enough It is a shame that you can't face a horde knight every single episode uh, on this, but eh, it's, uh, at, at least you can have some fun. Oh, dude, are you stuck My over there? Oh, the drone just gave me a fright. Oh, that was bad. I saw this dude all of a sudden the drone went in your face. <laughs> I just got a jump scare from a bloody drone. My heart actually uh, stood still just now. Okay, um, spirit kit, please. Come on. Just to show how rare they are, how expensive they are. The fact that it costs you 20 or 15 titanium plates. That's 30 forged iron. That is 60 raw um, titanium just to make one superior kit. 
That's insane. That's that's way too expensive. Okay, resources. Doo, 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 doo. No, we don't need any of this stuff. Come back okay, tomorrow. So, get new goods I wonder if there was a. Tra I don't think there was a. Was there a trader there? That was our beginner town. I don't think there was a trader there, right? It's too small to have a trader. Okay, we're gonna go up here then, and we're gonna see if we can't visit that one and ours. I'm hoping we can actually make it there to both of them because it's already 8, 8, uh, 8 p.m. At least the trader doors will close on their own, so I don't even have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is driving. Drive like the wind. I wonder if I shouldn't go for the top one first, but then I'm gonna have to drive through a lot of landmines. Although, if I can reach this road over here, it's gonna be much easier making it up. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful of the iron and stuff now, but if I can make it to that gravel road, we'll be able to just take a straight shot towards the trader. So it might be a little bit faster. I don't think we're going to make it. If we can at least make it to this furthest trade over here. And then in the morning we can make it to the um, or to our old trader. And then perhaps also have a land claim ready or something. Um, but yeah, this trade over here is super far out. So if we can get to this one at least, that will help. I think... This road... No, is it? No, it just leads to this POI. I thought this road might actually lead to the wasteland one over there. I have to be so careful right now. I don't want to get stuck on anything. And I'm hoping there's not really a hill in my way like I'm seeing right now. Yeah, that hill seems to be in my way. We're gonna try it. At least then, even if we don't make it to the tra uh, we're not gonna make it to the trader. Even if we don't make it to the trader, at least we have a path and we can see what's on the map over here. And now uh, it got dark as well. That's really not good in this biome. We're not, definitely not going to make it now. Incoming I'll probably just use my steroids because I'm, we're carrying the vehicle right now. Okay, now now we know next time we can't make it through here. Go, Jean, go, Jean, go, Jean, go. Ooh, okay. That dog was a- Oh, there's also a scorpion over here. <laughs> oh, there's an airdrop over here. Hello. This must have been an airdrop that I missed early game. So it's a good thing that we came this direction at least. There's an airdrop. Okay, so yeah. Please tell me this was worth it. Crap. Oh, that was not worth it. That could have been better. Okay, where am I supposed to go right now? Let's just try and see if we can't make this trade in the, in the end. Um, but yeah, with so little time left, I think we're just barely going to get there and then it's going to close. At least with one superior kit, we should be able to go and re uh, upgrade the maintenance station. And then I need to make sure that we upgrade the workbench as soon as possible so we can make our own stations. Yay! Nice, that was a nice ramp. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to see if we can't put a few mods uh, more on this vehicle or just upgrade the ones on the vehicle way more. Rubber band. Goes to show how much uh, RAM is being eaten. I think it's usually when it happens with the RAM, right? There's so much RAM being used when you go through the wasteland that um, the RAM can't keep up and then it kicks you back. And I have 16 VRAM and 32 uh, gigabytes uh, VRAM. Like normal RAM, 32 gigabytes, and then on the v, uh, VRAM of the GPU, 16 gig. And I'm still getting rubber bands like that. That's, that's insane. Come on, John, you can make it. In the morning, we can actually quickly go to the other trader. Come on. Uh, to the other trader, and then also just quickly go pick up all of these stations over here, I think. I can also get the trees while we're here. So first trader before it closes, and then we can quickly get the trees and the seeds and stuff um, from our old trees over here. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. I still have to come pick up two generators over here, but it's super expensive. You have to make a land claim, which is really, really... It's not just five stone in this mod. It's like 15 um, uh, plates, iron plates, and then 50 uh, concrete. And then when you pick it up, it you breaks. So Greetings, friend. No, okay, cool. So now I can take my time. If it kicks me out, it kicks me out. But I can quickly check what you have. Yes. Uh, I kind of I kind of want to buy the gas. How much is this going to cost me? 83000 if you want to buy the stack. That's insane. See you okay. soon. But yeah, we have to make a land claim. Does he have it, perhaps? 
No. No. Yeah, well, anyways, the land claim is super expensive, guys, because it's 50, 50 concrete low. and like 15 iron plates. And then when you pick it up, it breaks. You have to make a new one. So you waste those resources every time you make one. It's so nostalgic being back in the old base. <laughs> 4,000, nice. Now we'll be able to test with this knife from start to finish how much resin we're going to get. And also, guys, for those of you just joining in, it used to be you cut down the tree with an axe and the last few shots, last shot or whatever, you do with a knife. And then you get bonus resin. It's been changed. It's been nerfed. If you do that, you don't get a lot of resin. But if you go from knife to start to finish, look at the resin we already have. We only get like 30 resin if we chop down a tree normally with a knife at the end. And we get like 100 and we're just halfway done. So just one of these trees is going to give us quite a bit of resin. I want to test comp uh, uh, left clicks compared to power attacks. That's my next uh, next test right now. Damn, we're not going to want uh, resin for a while. I technically for now don't even have to make any uh, farms or tree farms. Because I don't see us running out of resin that fast. Although I think you do need resin for your um, blues, right? 241 resin. Damn. Yeah. Now this, yeah, I think this is not going to work that well. And it's just stacking on top of the other ones, so if it runs out now of stamina, we won't have an accurate amount. I said 241, right? Or 231. Yeah, uh, Trippy, it's in all, or whether it's in, and oh, no, I'm going to have to left click. Whether it's in uh, vanilla or mods, uh, some of the airdrops, sometimes you hear an airdrop, but you don't mark it. If you hear an airdrop, guys, you have to mark it immediately. It, it does show when it first drops. But if you don't mark it, and you log out and log back in, that mark is not there anymore. So you forget that there was a drop there, and only when you get close to it does it pop up on the map again. Unfortunately, that's how it works. A stew, 64. I can actually drink two of these. Really get some drink or pop in my hand. It's basically a flavored water, guys. Hey, Jonathan, welcome to the stream. So for those of you guys that don't know, um, in this mod, you can pick up everything. Well, mostly everything. You hold down E, you go for the hand shape. You can pick up everything. You don't need any land claims. Or at least so I thought. Um, it seems you do need land claims when it comes to powered, like electrical stuff. Uh, generators, um, uh, blade traps, electrical traps, that kind of stuff. You need to have a uh, uh, land claim down. Only problem is, land claim is super expensive to make, and then, like I said, if you pick it up, it breaks, you have to make a new one. I don't blame you, Trippy. Vanilla is actually super boring. I can't, I don't know how people can play, even on multiplayer, I don't know how people can play vanilla. But I think I'm just spoiled with all the mods that I've been able to play, so... I mean, Darkest Falls adds all these guns, weapons, mutated zombies, monsters, behemoths, demons. Um, Undead Legacy is like uh, 2.0 of vanilla where you can actually carry anything, you have uh, action skills, pick up anything, upgrade anything. I mean, it's awesome, you can actually upgrade mods on your tools and weapons to give your like, weapon more of a boost. All of a sudden I'm super hot. I just drank my cold drink. The cold drink is not hot or anything, but after drinking the cold drink just now, all of a sudden my body's getting hot. Whoa! I should see if I can't get like a small desk fan, those like 5 centimeters by 5 or oh, 10 by 10 centimeters. I'm just point it in my hand at least. Or at least just have it pointed down on my chest. Because if I have my big fan on, like I said, my eyes get dry. But with a small one, if it's pointed at my chest and my hand, then at least my hand won't get as sweaty and then I'll be at least a little bit cooler as well. Or I should be like these people that go on uh, Zoom calls and stuff. Where I'm not wearing pants. Uh, I am wearing pants, don't worry. <laughs> but I should actually do that where I'm not wearing pants and just have a fan pointed at uh, me from the bottom or something. Heck, I could even wear a crop top and you wouldn't realize unless I stretched or moved. 
Oh, I just realized this knife is actually taking insane damage from this. I mean, it makes sense. It's breaking a bloody tree. But I feel like the resin that we're getting from this is super worth it. The amount of resin we're getting right now, guys, we I have to go and chop down 30 to 50 trees just to get anything near this. And these are, and that's like 4,000 HP trees, not just any tree. So the fact that we're doing these trees now, even though we are losing a titanium a knife, it's definitely worth the resin we're getting. The problem I have is, um, I actually had the desk fan I'm talking about. So it's, guys, it's about as big as this thing over here. It's small. It's a USB uh, one that you can actually plug into your computer. But even my uh, light, this thing that's throwing lights on my face right now, uh, that's also a USB. But if I plug it into my PC, it makes like a kind of sound. It's very uh, light, but uh, it's, it's like a sharpish kind of uh, grating sound on your ears. For some reason, if I have too many USBs plugged in, um, it starts just doing uh, making that sound. I don't know if the lights perhaps are drawing too much power or something. But same with the desk fan, because the desk fan draws even more power than the light. Um, not only do you hear the fan spinning, or at least the filter won't pick it up, but I'll be able to hear a sharp kind of sound. Oh my lower black, uh, oh lower black, lower back just clicked. I have a severe back problem guys. <laughs> not just back pain and stuff, but I mean like how weak my back is. When I sit too long, it's like basically, oh damn, basically my my spine or my lower, you know how you have discs uh you have cushions and then discs um so it's a it's a it's a bone and then a disc and then a bone and then a disc basically the disc in my lower back is already worn out so i can set my back out like an old man and sometimes when i'm sitting too long it's like all the pressure from my back is pressing down so much and when i click my back it just releases that pressure but i can literally just sit here plant my feet and push them outwards and i can click my back and i don't think that's healthy You have a boost function in your power supply. Uh, no, that was a round tree. It's just the roots that seem square. I think. <gasps> Don't break your leg. Don't break your leg. Especially if you're carrying a ton of resources and stuff. It's so easy to break your legs. Okay, so we have to go. Guys, we still have to go. This whole area over here. To get all the steel. There's just no way. There's just too many light posts, lamp posts and stuff. I might be able to actually do it if I had a jumping ability one more higher. Then at least we don't need frames. We can just jump up. But yeah, we could get so much more steel over here. Let's just go this road over here. I wish I could go in real life. At the moment, I'm barely getting enough uh, from YouTube to cover all my debt at least. Um, like my loans and all that stuff. And then I have a little bit of money every now and then left just to do something for myself. I wish I could get to a point where I can do videos on the weekends. For, for the week, I can record the videos. And then I can go like uh, on road trips during the week itself. Then obviously I can do like a stream or something on the weekend instead of every single day during the weekend. But if I can go, just go and do like road trips. As this pure eye, I had demons and stuff attack me in Darkest Falls. It was insane. My wandering hordes are, are behemoths and demons at the moment. But yeah, um... I want to see, like, my, I haven't even really seen my own country that much yet. I want to be able to go up and down the coast, but petrol, um, fuel, gas, it's just getting way too expensive these days, so that's something that's getting uh, more into, the, like, more dream. It's in, so far in the future, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Um, but yeah, I want to see if I can't get myself, like, a small vehicle that's great on gas and just go for road, trip, road trips. But then also, I have, like, a portable router and stuff so I can upload my videos while I'm on the road. That'd be kind of cool. And then from there, my goal is to go see the... My dream is to one day be able to travel the whole world. I would have actually worked on a cruise ship. Uh, I, I think I told you guys this before. Uh, King Hedgehog Gamer um, almost got me a job on his one of his ships because he's, uh, he's uh, high up in there somewhere. Um, but the problem is with all the COVID stuff, uh, he couldn't get me in, in anymore. But even then, I would have been able to still record. Just at, the upload schedule would have been really, really weird. Uh, because yeah, obviously you're on the ship, you're working, and you only have some days to record and stuff. Uh, but I would have been able to take my PC on the boat as well, so that would have been awesome. But unfortunately, due to this bloody COVID thing, um, yeah, nothing worked out. I think everyone's dreams were just shattered, or a lot of people's dreams were shattered. 
dreams, goals, aspirations that he had that he was so slow to being able to do. And then all of a sudden the whole world just went on a shutdown. Okay, I wonder, should I use my Valkyrie drill right now? Or should I wait until morning? I think if I use it now, it's going to make so much noise. We should actually have enough, I think, to be able to go and upgrade this workstation now. I'm hoping. Come on. Maintenance station. What do I need now? 30 books. Ooh, I could make them. It's 150 notes. I believe I shouldn't make them. And then military fibers. I did I not know that I need that? I might need to upgrade this one first. I need 10 books for this one and then 10 pipes. I should probably do this one first because I need that military fibers. Um, I'm going to make about... Oh, how many books do we need over here? 40 books. I'm going to have to make 50 books. That's a lot of notes that we're going to use. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this. Books. But I want to get this stuff done. The 50, it's 250, oh, 165 notes. Oh wait, we don't have enough paper. No, we don't have enough paper right now. That's unfortunate. How do we not have enough paper? Okay, in the morning I'm going to have to do the maintenance station then, but we need the other station now. Uh, we're just going to make as many books as possible then. I can't believe we ran out of paper. I haven't been paying attention to that, and that shows now. Damn. Okay, most of the stuff can just be dumped. Oh, how did I get 720 sand? Where did I get the sand? Usually sand is a really hard thing for me to come by. That's why we have to go for that building down there, the destroyed stone. I have no idea where the sand just came from. Okay, food, we can actually keep that on us, but I mean, that gives you only 53, this gives you 64. Uh, the Valkyrie drill, okay, this thing's broken, I have to repair it at the trade in the morning. How many books do we need for this one? 10. And then we need 10 of these pipes. When you go and you scrap- Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was about to say, when you go and scrap pipes and they need it, but I forgot I haven't done it yet. I wanted to, but I couldn't because I uh, forgot to put it in. I need to start making more concrete as well. Okay, these books are going to take a while. I need 10 to be able to upgrade this over here. But now I'm just going to put the steel away so I don't accidentally use it. I want to go and upgrade the uh, and repair the whole base. We have enough concrete, so we should at least be able to do the repairs right now. And then we should have enough cement on us to start making some more of that stuff. Repair it. Repair tool. Boom. Okay, so where's the zombie down here? Oh, it fell out. Oh, hello. Even weak zombies like this can easily give you a jump scare. Just all of a sudden, even my drone, I mean, my drone's weak. Just seeing that in my face, I'm like, whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna go and repair all of this. It might just waste a ton of concrete, but I wanna make sure it's nice and upgraded so we can perhaps make the steel. If I can take the Valkyrie drill back to the mine, and just go for like another half an hour and just mine, 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 mine. Guys, the amount of steel and iron and stuff we'll be able to make from that is insane. I could actually technically over here make a... Ooh, I wonder if I shouldn't make... How many, how many drones can we have or turrets can we have active at the moment, I wonder. I need to check. If I can have two turrets active, I'll be able to uh, protect myself better from Screamer showing up during me using my um, drill. Although we have to do it after we face a Wandering Horde. We don't want a Wandering Horde falling into our mind because that's just gonna suck. Already a Screamer is a massive pain when that shows up, but all of a sudden having to deal with a Wandering Horde in a teeny tiny little hole is gonna suck. I'm actually surprised at the amount of damage, the way they damaged it as well. I mean, it's, it was a horde night, so damage is expected, but the the weird kind of angles that they sometimes damage blocks in is weird. I mean, weird blocks, weird, but still, I get what I mean. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, how the hell did they even do damage to that block? Oh, wow, they took this ladder out. 
I thought they would just climb ladders, but it seems to also break the ladders over here. I think what I'm going to do is... Where they're broke... Uh, this is almost broken, so I can just well go and destroy this. Um, I want to pl replace the gravel over there with concrete. And then on top, but then again... But I really want to waste... How much is it going to cost to repair this? Four. Also four. So it is cheaper just to repair it rather than start from scratch. But at the same time, I want to make sure we don't waste any resources right now. Um, we only have so much concrete mix. 500 sounds like a lot in this mod. For those of you who don't know, you only use five concrete to upgrade a block in this mod, which is awesome. But it's also very grindy to get that five. So I want to make sure we don't waste any resources right now while we're doing this. Now we need steel to repair this, but first we need to uh, use the steel our workstations. And then the kind of damage over here, this was done from cop vomit. If I can just put in the electric fence first, I think I might be able to slow them down. I don't know how, how viable that would be at the moment. Do I put electric fence first in or should I put turrets on like a pole over here pointing at the ladders? At the moment when we stand in here, we can just throw a molotov right there and it hits all the zombies climbing the ladder system over here. What if I were to go and make a pillar over here shooting at the zombies, or from over here shooting at the zombies? Like turrets on top of each other or something. But I think that would also be, that would be destroyed easily. Um, they actually, guys, at the moment our power issue in South Africa is so bad, um, that the, the different parties are actually banding together now to say, listen, this is unacceptable. Since 2007, our, our electricity has gone up by 640% or something like that. That's insane. It's getting more and more and more. Expensive. There's going to be new tariff hikes soon now. And people are like, oh, how, why? We're not getting any power, so you, now you want us to, for the times we do have power, to suffer. And it's going to affect all households, whether you have the money for it or not. Ooh, damn. Wait, was this... Uh, I'm hoping this wasn't steel, because this took some severe damage. This whole corner is almost taken out. That's why, guys, that's why it's awesome to do this, um... Thin, thin block thing, the thin poles. If I wasn't using thin poles, I would have taken this corner out. But since I was using the thin poles, they couldn't uh, cave this place in. They had to destroy too many blocks. But yeah, basically, we almost never have power, and now when we do have power, they want us to pay way more for it. So now the parties are, the different parties are saying, no, 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 this is unacceptable. Something has to be done. I mean, it's a little bit too late now because it's been like this for a while, so what are they now all of a sudden going to be able to do? The amount of power outages last year was a record, like a South African record. There's never ever in, his, in our history ever been anything near what we had last year. And now this year is going to be even worse. I mean, today, yesterday we had stage 6 power outages. Today we would have had stage 6, and then all of a sudden they say, no, it's stage 4. And then when you see it again in stage 5, they mess with you a lot. I don't mind the stages and stuff, as long as you know beforehand. But they go the day of and change it up. So now you've already made plans, like streaming or whatever, and all of a sudden there's power outages. And now you're screwed because you already made this, you already scheduled and everything. So if they can at least stick to their schedules and stop changing it every like second or something, that'll be okay. Okay, yeah, let me just see. Did they do any other damage over here? The fact that they went and took this out is insane. But they took it out so perfectly, it makes me think that there was nothing there in the beginning to uh, to begin with. Probably going to repair my knife at the trader. Uh, we need the books. I'm so used to this thing being over here that I keep going to the wrong station now. Okay, so we need the books and then we should be able to upgrade this, but we need the other... Yep. Workstation not empty. Oh, it's because we have the nail gun on us that's allowing us to upgrade now without the other thing on us. That looks fancy. Okay, so now we can make military fibers, finally. And it's a times 10 ratio, so if I make 10, we make 100. Uh, oh, we're gonna need duct tape. It's fine, it's fine. One, two, three, four. Max it out. We can make one less, perhaps. No, let's make all the way. We have to waste one, but that's fine. Guys, now we have 90. We went from struggling to get military fibers to now easily having enough military fibers. That's awesome. And this we can put back in. Look at that. We already just, re just doing repairs. 
we used almost 260 or something concrete. That's a lot. That's why I wonder if I shouldn't just fill in the damage over there and then... Because to go now and place even more concrete underneath, I'm going to run out of concrete. I should be able to make more though. What do I need? Stone powder and cement. Yeah, we're very low in cement. We at least have a ton of sa uh, sand, so that's awesome. We actually have way too much sand all of a sudden. We went from struggling to get sand to now having way too much. Turned you off. Probably turn you back on, but I might need the resources again. Okay, now that we have that, we should be able to upgrade this, but now we need more steel and stuff, right? Now we need 28 more books. See, it's easy enough to actually get this. All we need to do is find a POI that has a lot of those cargo boxes. Even those boxes over there, that's paper. We're looking for those brown boxes that we usually don't pick up. We just have to go uh, get those, scrap them, and then voila, we have what we need. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I either need the books themselves or I need to be able to make, uh, to get the, just the paper, to make the books. Let's check something quickly. Modify, you are level, okay, H. That's plus 10, that's plus 22.2, nice. If I can max out my armor pocket mods and stuff, that's going to help us tremendously. I wonder, did I get all of the boxes inside this PI? I think so. Wow, oh, no mess. And all of these are power attacks that I'm missing, so it's a massive waste. Come on. Let me just check over here. This will give us what? Scrap polymers. No, it gives you paper. A little bit. It gives you scrap polymers. See, these over here, we just have to scrap these. I want to see, if I do this, that's 16, right? If I do this and I scrap it, that's 10. So it's going to be better for us to just go and do this. Uh, why did I not loot these? It's in the building I took over, but I don't have enough. And I even left resources down here, damn. <laughs> you say that until you see me getting mugged and um, getting my phone stolen because I have it on me. <laughs> Wait, how did I not loot this stuff? Because here in South Africa, it depends on where you are, obviously, but there, there's actually, it's very dangerous here. Um, if you're walking with your phone, it can so easily get stolen. So I'm gonna have to think of a way to be able to walk around. If you're here in South Africa, guys, never, ever, ever keep your, uh, your car window open and be on your phone. Because they actually go through the window and they just grab your phone. Um, but yeah, obviously if you know the area and you know what to do, what not to do, it, it should be okay. Hopefully. Imagine, very first blog. Hey guys, welcome to South Africa. I've got a bad phone feeling stolen. about this. I wonder if the zombies can respawn down here already. Yeah. This is how much paper. Oh, too little. Not worth it. But over here, the zombies could easily respawn because I don't have a land claim down. I only have my bedroll and I don't think it covers a big enough area. I'm hoping there's enough paper to make a full, uh, few more books. We need those books to be able to go and make ourselves the rest of what we need. If I could get my maintenance station upgraded and then just go and upgrade the titanium pick. Ooh. See, that's the thing. Uh, it's it's easy to say it's, it's a South African problem. It's an oh, it's a South African or American problem, or whatever. But as soon as you uh, get to travel the world, then you can at least see. And I know a lot of countries are actually very similar in the crime and stuff like that. But you can only really experience that when you go to that country. Because at the moment, South Africans feel like we are getting we are really unjustly being do, uh, done in. Because uh, of all the crap that's going on over here. But there are kind of, uh, other countries in the world that also have the uh, same or at least similar problems as us. But if, uh, if you look at the TV and stuff, you don't see those problems, you see other kinds of problems. Okay, uh, let's see. I need to make more... I need more books, right? How many do I need right now? 17. 
still not enough paper. Are you kidding me? I just need to actually see if I can't get books anyway. But uh, for that, I'm gu uh, guessing I'm going to have to go into like a bookstore or something. Sort that. Okay, this is stuff that we can scrap. And sell. Okay, let's see in this building next door if I can't get some paper there. I need six more. Enough paper for six more books. I don't exactly know how much paper that is, but at least we know for the amount of we just that we just got, we got a ton of paper. See, if I take the Valkyrie drill over here, we're going to get so much stone and sand in no time. I actually want to try and uh, see how long it's going to take for a screamer to start showing up. Eight paper. At least this is a titanium axe, so it actually breaks stuff really fast. Which means it's not going to take us that long to quickly get through this place. It's, uh, guys, I love the fact that you can actually lockpick so easily in this game. Especially if you have your lockpicking skill max and you have like a ton of bobby pins. I can open up anything right now just auto-clicking. I don't even... You, you can do ma uh, manual, obviously. But with this many uh, lockpicks, you can just go click, 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 and then voila, it finishes. Sometimes you're lucky on the very first one and it actually goes and opens up. So you save so much time instead of going manually and opening everything up. I don't know why I never went for these. I, oh, then again, yeah. In the beginning, I actually went for these boxes a lot. But then after a while, I didn't need any more paper and stuff. So I was like, nah, let me just leave it. And now, look at this. I need paper. And now I'm regretting not going for the paper earlier. And these boxes, unfortunately, don't give as much as the other pallets. And these only give... Oh, that actually does... Oh, that gives a nice amount, at least. Okay, we're back. Where did I fall down just now? Now I'm actually confused. Where did I fall down just now? Which room was I in? You can get a holster that would strap to your chest. just wish there was a way to get rid of corruption and theft. Well, if corruption went, people would actually start getting jobs and stuff again, and the money that, uh, the relief funds, all that stuff wouldn't get stolen, and... So basically, if we, if we can get rid of corruption in the world, so many problems would actually be able to get solved. I mean, I mean obviously not all of them, but so much hunger, homelessness, um, theft because of hunger and homelessness, all that stuff would actually have been cut out. Imagine a world with no theft, no hunger, no... Poverty, nothing like that. That'd be awesome. Okay, so now, have these zombies respawned? Have to be careful, just in case. Okay, these give you? Nine or so. Okay, so if I can just get all of these, that should give me, give me enough uh, for now. It's not good as... Oh, hello. It's not as good as these pellets up top. But at least it's something. Um, I don't have my frames. I keep forgetting to grab my bloody... Oh, yeah, this is a nice paper one. I keep forgetting to grab my frames for some reason. I made a ton of frames on the, in the one workstation, but I keep forgetting to bring them. Okay, uh, there's more up there. But I'm only going to go for what I can actually reach right now. And the swing is so slow, you have to swing and then jump, otherwise you accidentally hit the block. Waste all that stamina. Damn, okay, that one would have missed anyways. These give you a nice amount of paper, so if I can get more... I wonder if we have a paper factory, like, like paper mold POI in this town or something. If I can get more paper that way, that would be so much easier. I have to actually check if there isn't one in town, because it's so much easier getting paper from those. There's rolls and rolls and rolls of paper. Not just these things over here, but like, it looks like a white roll of paper. At least we already cleared this whole place out, because I, if I remember correctly, this place was actually hard to clear. Like, with all the zombies and stuff popping out of these containers, it was insane. A 
I actually have a kind of like an underbite in my mouth. So my top teeth is a little bit over my um, bottom. I think most people have an underbite. But <laughs> the problem is when it comes to like now the this false tooth and stuff. Um, because of the underbite, I have a really weird bite in my mouth. So when, you, when you're laying back down in the dentist chair, they tell you to bite down. Oh, okay, yeah, everything looks fine. But then as soon as you stand up, the overbite's back. And then all of a sudden you're biting on the tooth that you're not supposed to be biting on. I should probably not be fiddling with my uh, tongue there because it just now might actually be bad for it. I know it is actually bad to fiddle um, with like stuff that they worked on in your mouth. Where am I supposed to? Okay. We should have enough uh, paper now to actually go and make the last few books. And then finally, guys, do you know how long I've been working towards being able to upgrade the maintenance station? Like I said, my only gripe with this game is how grindy it is. You literally, because now, for example, we needed a, um, a superior kit over here, right? First, you have to make sure that this uh, station over here is level 3. Then you can actually reset to superior kit. Then, to make the superior kit, this has to be level 3. But, oh, uh, to, uh, to be able to go and upgrade this one at level 4. But you need to get stuff over here. It's, it's massive. You have to, it's like a chain of stuff that you have to get done before you can actually do anything. It's not that bad, but still, it's very... You, you think you're done already, and like, oh, I still have to do this and this and this. Okay, the, we have enough paper now. We have way more, <laughs> way more than enough paper. I just put in the books that I needed, and we still have way more paper left. Nice. But if I need to make more gunpowder and stuff later, I will be able to. It looks like it's almost nighttime again, but it's only just morning now. I want to quickly see if I can't use my Valkyrie drill to go and uh, do the farm. Hmm. While we're up here, let's just let that cook. Cement, I need stone. Oh yeah, yeah, we need some actual cement as well. I don't want to make the cement because it's too expensive on clay and sand. The clay we're going to need for other stuff as well. So what I need to do is go get cement. Well, we have pallets of cement, but we're not going to get as much until it's maxed out. We still need to level up for that one point. So I don't know if when we level up, should I go for minus 69 for more block damage? Or should I go for mother load for that last bit of bonus? You get 10% more uh, resources when you're going for blocks. We need the resources, but we also need to be able to break the blocks easier. It makes it so hard to decide what I want to put. Guys, at the moment, we're kind of progressing at the same pace as 7 days, or even slower than 7 days to die. And in 7 days to die, we're playing on 50% XP. That's why I feel that if you're playing this mod for the first time, try 200%, and then that should be just enough to actually progress nicely in the game. Okay, uh, we're not going to use the motorcycle anymore. I do need to see if I can't make a land claim. Land claim. Artisan stable. Oh, which reminds me. Look at this. 50 iron plates. I thought it was 15. 50 iron plates. And 25 concrete mix, but apparently if you try and pick it up, it breaks. So what's the point of making it then? <laughs> That's super expensive of having it break on you like that. Okay, we're gonna do this. Modify. I do technically go like, uh, I wonder if I shouldn't quickly go to the other trader, the one we missed. And see if they don't have a superior kit. And uh, while we're there, we can just as well go and repair the titanium knife. And when we're back, we can actually go with the SUV again. Finally! Finally! Okie dokie. Upgrade? Oh, we're two books short. How? I thought I actually went perfectly just now. I thought we were finally done. <laughs> okay, so we're two books short and then we'll finally have this thing upgraded. I've been waiting so long to actually upgrade this thing. It's insane. Remember that I was like, why am I so slow just now? And then I realized I'm carrying the motorcycle. Okay. Come on, two books. Almost done. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of South Africans go to different countries to, uh, for the good life. Because it's just so bad here in South Africa. But then sometimes... It's almost like when a red state and a... Oh, like when, when someone in a blue state goes into the red state and bring their bullshit with them. And other way around as well. It's the same with South Africans. Sometimes they bring the problems with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, let's just see. I can't believe we're finally doing this. It's a good thing I didn't use a scrap titanium. Boom. Yes. Now, what can we do? I swear, if we can do nothing with this, I'm going to be so mad. If we can only... I wonder how far you can actually upgrade these stations. 
Like now, I can upgrade this once. Oh, I can do it again. Nice. Okay, that's what I was actually wondering now, just now. Can you go again? But it does use quite a bit of titanium to be able to do it, unfortunately. Um, I should be able to make more duct tape. Let's make about 25 for now. And I need to make some oil over here. Just some. Oh, that's what I needed the um, resin for. Oil. Get oil, I'm just going to make about 25 as well. We just need a little bit. How much do I need for this one? Literally just one, right? And we just need one oil. 95% chance. Guys, the, the only problem now is if this fails, it's super expensive because it uses titanium plates. Now it requires 20 and 30. I'm actually hoping we can actually at least make it to the E. Because already this should be... Almost. We're almost there. I wonder if this is actually registering the um, mods with it. If we take this off. And this one's still better. But it's because of the B quality compared to an F quality. If we can just get this thing upgraded, we'll be so much better ahead. But now I'm going to keep using the steel one until we can actually get that one that high. Um, there's other stuff that I also wanted to upgrade. Valkyrie Drill. I don't think we can actually do this one, right? We can. That's 40. Damn. And if it fails, we lose 40 titanium. It's just 80% chance for succeeding. I wonder if I shouldn't try. But we can. I need 40 rebar. We only have four plates to, uh, to work with. I wonder if we'll have enough. If I can upgrade the Valkyrie Drill, that would be awesome. For now, though, let's just see if we can get this done, that done. Okay, I just need the oil and then we can go. I wonder if I shouldn't range a vehicle close by, but I don't think there's any actually... Step over there, over there and there. I already put the generator off, right? Yeah. I don't want to waste any fuel because when we come back, we have quite a bit of fuel, but I don't want to waste anything right now. Come on, one more. There you go. Guys, yeah, last it happened. A lot of something happened as well, where I go and I upgrade all of this stuff, and. <laughs> As soon as I get to a decent level, like I used a ton of resources getting to this level, all of a sudden I loot that tool. So I'm kind of hoping I loot a better uh, pick if I can get like a B or A quality. But in the same breath, I've wasted so much titanium trying to upgrade this now that it's going to be a massive like shock if I all of a sudden just get it easily. Okay, for now we're just putting this away until it's getting better. W what is better on that one so far? The power attack, the attack speed, and the stamina cost is better on the titanium one. But that's unfortunately at the moment, that's it. Okay, so what I do need to do is see if we can't go to the other trader quickly. I'm going to use my Valkyrie drill as much as possible. And then when the, tr uh, the screamers and stuff start showing up, we can go from there. Also, we can now go and repair and upgrade most of these. So when we get back, I want to see if we can't get them at least all to... No, they're all already at B. I can get them to A quality, but once again, resources, resources, resources. It's so easy to waste resources. Where's my... Oh yeah, I didn't have anything in. Ballistics table. It's just a shame. See, why did I actually read the schematic? We already have a rocket launcher. I keep forgetting that you can't craft better quality stuff than what you already have. Unfortunately. So I, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I have a crappy quality, um... I heard something just now. I have a crappy quality rocket launcher. Let me just read this to make a better one. Oh, yeah, you can't make a better one. So now you just wasted that uh, schematic. 2,000 gas. Damn. The multiplies by 100. I have to click, click, click not to waste too much fuel right now. It's too easy to actually do too much damage. It's two shots per block. It's definitely faster, I can tell you that much. You think it's stuck down here? Guys, this thing's epic. I just need to make sure that I save enough cash to go and repair this one when it breaks. Because I want to do this whole farm quickly. So yeah, doing dirt, it's actually a massive waste using this thing on dirt, but it's so much faster. I literally double, just double click and it's already taking the block apart. We're definitely going to get a screamer from this. There's no way we're not going to get one. But guys, this thing eats fuel like crazy. It's really, really OP. It's really, really powerful. 
You can get so much iron and titanium in almost a matter of minutes. If you have this tool, that's how powerful it is. But you have to be careful not to waste fuel. It breaks fuel. Master, we no? are not alone. It breaks the uh, block so fast that you actually use more than... Say, for example, the block only takes two shots. That's two fuel. It goes so fast if you hold it down that you might actually need to use, like, five fuel. That's why I'm click, click, clicking to make sure I don't accidentally use too much. The amount of play we're getting right now is really awesome. We should probably make sure we have the right glasses on. Yep. Ooh, I want the Rockbuster candy. Is this a Wandering Horde? Oh, a big Wandering Horde. And I'm encumbered due to all the stuff I have on my drone. This is, I thought for a moment that the Screamer streamed. It was a massive Wandering Horde spawning in. I should probably get some Rockbuster candy and then come for the um, dirt of here. Even if it's just one more uh, clay per block to be destroyed, that's a lot. In the long run, that's a lot of resources. You just go over here. Why are you guys splitting up so much? Every time I look, they're, ma they're actually getting further and further apart. And especially if you only want to use one Molotov and all of them, it makes it really hard when they're splitting up that much. Okay. I really wish this was the norm, seeing this many zombies just all over, not just in Wandering Hordes. The game would be so much more fun and ex exciting. And challenging. Oh, where did you come from? My senses have picked up something. You don't say. It could have possibly be the zombie right next door. I keep forgetting that they can aggro in this mod. Because in Darkest Falls they don't aggro, and I don't know in all the walkers if they do. I haven't had them aggro on me yet. Come on, one line, one line. There you go, there you go. It's also when they stand in line like this because you only have to use one bullet. To actually take care of most of them. And what I won't get over is the fact that it's so little chance of dropping loot right now. Look at this. We just destroyed a massive, massive horde. But there's no loot. At all. There's a screamer over there. <laughs> okay, where's that scrawler right now? Hello. I wonder if I can actually snipe the Screamer. Whether I'm going to be able to hit it or not, that's a different question. If I don't kill her first shot, that's going to be a problem. Too high. Stand still, lady. Stand still. Nice. The only reason I know I killed her is because of the fact that I got the XP. <laughs> Other than that, well, I did hear a kind of a <clears throat> sound just now. But that, that doesn't mean anything in this game. Okay, I think if I can take some Grockbuster candy right now, we're going to get quite a bit of resources. I need to see if I can't get a ton of stone this way. Because I need to make cement. It, it takes a lot of clay, sand, and stone to make just one piece of cement. And then you have to use stone to make the stone powder, and then stone powder, sand, and cement again to make concrete. So that's why I, I'll rather just try and see if we can't get ourselves some cement. Rather than just go and make it. Because making it's super expensive. You're going to waste way more doing that, uh, doing it that way. Okay, now the amount of clay we're going to get is amazing. Because I do want to make my own base. So if I can actually just go and use the Rockbuster candy. I'm hoping I can actually just do this before another Screamer shows up. Or just quickly deal with them if they... Oh, don't break your leg. If they do show up, I'm hoping I can quickly deal with them. Because I want to make sure we don't waste the rock buster candy right now on fighting zombies and stuff. Probably try and do this. And then this one, just in case you need to put it down. See, walking is a lot faster than crouching, but crouching makes, it makes less noise. So now this way, the screamers will show, definitely show up faster, but we're doing it faster as well. Oh, you know what? If, if I level up right now from doing this, I'm gonna go for the um, mother load because now we can already do. Uh, we can do this fast. We don't need uh, with a Valkyrie job at the moment, at least. We don't need the mining skill. But if I can go a little bit more into mother load, then especially with the Rockbuster candy, we'll get way more. Look at my HP go up. I'm going to keep this farm open so we don't have to worry too much about walls getting destroyed. 
Obviously, if you put walls around, you can actually put just spikes and stuff around as well. But during Horde Night, they might actually spawn inside the farm and then you have a problem. Although, I think if you were to go and put floors over here... I'm gonna waste a ton of um, nails and frames, guys. I know that. But I wanna put some wood in between these just to make it look a little bit fancier. Where is she? Uh, but yeah, if I can just go and make this farm look good then. Oops, that's a little bit faster than I thought. Yeah, let me just quickly go. She's gonna scream. I've got a bad feeling about this. But yeah, um, uh, if I go and till the ground over here, and I go and place my own blocks in, I don't think that screen, uh, that the uh, horde can actually spawn on the, uh, this patch over here. I might be wrong. Because technically that's then player blocks, it's not, um, uh, it, it's not going to be claimed, but it's still player blocks. I think zombies and sleepers and stuff can only spawn, especially wood, uh, woods and uh, wood knights and stuff, can only spawn on non-player blocks, like dirt and stuff like that. But if you told the dirt, that's your block now, that's not the game block anymore. And I'm clicking so fast right now, so I'm still wasting fuel, but I'm not wasting as much fuel as uh, I would have if I just kept this in. I want to see how much, uh, how much I have after this. Probably just go and do this as well. Because I don't want to be encumbered. I want to be able to go run up to the... Oh, there's one already. Look at that. I want to be able to run up to the screamer and just quickly take it out. I keep under and overestimating at the same time where I'm supposed to shoot. See, that just hit a head. Usually that hits a chest because there's a little bit of a drop. So if I actually go and, um, uh, my, my, my English Afrikaans, I'm thinking Afrikaans for some reason. If I go and calculate in the fact that it's in a drop, it doesn't drop. But if I don't calculate in, all of a sudden it doesn't drop anymore. Oh, die. Like I'm losing a few bolts now. The fact that two screamers just showed up makes um, shows how much noise I'm making right now. Guys, if you guys chat now and I don't uh, respond, I'm just pretty focusing on this. We will be in chat now. You know how long it's going to take to till this ground? I hate that. I wonder if it's in vanilla as well, where it takes so long all of a sudden. I know in Darkness Fall, it takes forever to go and till the ground. Or uh, to hoe the ground. We have so much clay right now. The amount of blocks I'll be able to uh, make with this right now is insane. That's a 5 to 5 ratio. So what I need to do is actually work out for a 6 to 1. Because basically it's going to cost you... I need to work out how much it costs to make the brick block itself. No, just bricks. And then uh, it's like 5 brick blocks, uh, bricks per 1 clay to make a brick block. If I can uh, then go and see how much I can actually uh, use to make bricks itself. I might be able to make like a thousand uh, bricks, hopefully. I want to make my own base, like from scratch, where you can put all of our workstations, everything that's going to look nice and looks uh, look neat. I did say I want to take over this PR over here and just renovate it, but I uh, messed up a bit. And it's not uh, the amount of workstations you have in this mod, this base is too small. It's way too small. I hear another screamer. Must be behind a building or something. Two rows left and then we're done. If this was the forest biome, guys, we could t literally take out the whole top layer over here and still have a farm left. Because in the, in the desert biome, the dirt is like three, four blocks deep. Sometimes five blocks. Unfortunately, over here, since this is desert, and uh, as soon as you pick up this top soil, all of a sudden everything underneath is just uh, sand. What do I do on this side? Let me just quickly put some more stuff in you. Did I do the outer row of here or not? Yeah, I did. Okay, so this thing is actually equal then. No, it's it's an uneven ground. Nice, I actually like that. Because basically over here, I'm gonna do the outer corner as well. Which means we did the two outer we basically it's like this. We did outer corner and outer corner. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's an even base then. Huh? How's that even? That's that's frying my brain right now. I thought that was gonna be an uneven base. Usually when you're able to go and put stuff... Oh, it depends on how much you're actually placing on the outside. 
No, if you do, it, it isn't uneven uh, farm of the now. It's a good thing. Because if you're going, uh, every number one is a, a pathway, number two is a, a, a thing like this. This is number one again. So it starts one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and it finishes on a one. That, uh, that does mean that it's uneven, right? It probably also depends on how big the farm is and it might make it even again. I just I tested on an uneven five fingers, that's why I actually did that just now. Okay, now we have to also take this out. I wonder if I can cave this in. Without having to destroy these. This is going to take forever to destroy. But if I can go and pick this stuff up and just destroy... I can just do this and later place my own dirt in. This should make a cave in out. Oh, wrong block, Sean. Crap, where's the streamer? I'm so encumbered right now. If she decides to scream and spawn in a uh, feral um, zombie, I'm screwed. Where is she? Oh, she's behind the farming equipment. I'm so... Let me just quickly drop some stuff on my bike because I'm so heavy from all of the clay right now. My drone has all the clay inside. I have all the clay uh, over here. I have some clay in the back. We got so much clay from just mining this little bit over here. It's insane. But it's awesome as well. Where did you go? Is she going that way around? Looks like it. Oh, she crawled through. She tried to crawl underneath. She actually did crawl underneath, I think. There you go. Nice. I'm getting a little bit better with the, uh, with this crossbow. <laughs> Although, the, the streamer just came from a direction I didn't even think they're going to come from. So I need to be careful. This thing's going to start heading in now. Because everything that's keeping it up is now off the ground, I think. There you go. There you go. Finally, guys, after how long I've been saying I'm going to use this to farm, now we finally got, I went and cleared this. Oh, I never went into the mother load like I wanted to. Because that one, uh, the wandering horde interrupted me as soon as I wanted to invest the points, so I didn't. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just do this. It's not as fast, but I don't think it makes that much noise, and it doesn't waste fuel and durability. Come on, can do this. Why is she looking? There's one next to me. Oh, crap. You just definitely spawned some ferals in. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're actually running on the lines of here. They don't like running up and down like this. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was actually paying attention so much to the one behind me. Or in front of me, I didn't see the one coming from behind me. I should have swapped to the uh, pick a lot, a lot sooner. Unfortunately, oh, I could actually quickly go and go a little bit more into... Let's go for minus 69er. Because that means I should be able to one-shot these. Are you kidding me right now? Look at that. Like two HP... I, I can easily go with my... Wait, I can actually do this. Oh, no, that one's broken. If I hit this, how much damage am I doing? One. Ah, I can just well use my pick then. That's messed up. I'm literally too damaged away from being able to one-shot this. The more we can upgrade our um, Valkyrie draw right now, the better. I should probably see if I can't go mining next time again for a lot of titanium. And then if I get enough titanium, I might be able to go and... Well, one, we can get a ton of steel because the titanium and steel is mixed. But two, if we get enough titanium, we can actually upgrade the Valkyrie draw even more. The more powerful it is, the faster it's going to break our titanium and iron and stuff for us. Which means we'll be able to make even more in no time. I'm just going to go and do this. So much easier. Now I just have to go and place my own dirt over here and then till it and then put my own blocks in between. But we finally have our farm set. Now I just have to go and put, uh, place the uh, seeds. Apparently, as far as I'm aware, in this mod you don't need water, right? You know what? Um... Let's quickly just drop the resources. I'm going to be so super heavy right now. Yep. 
super super heavy. If we can just quickly really drop the uh, the stuff upstairs, we can quickly really go to the other trailer and see if he doesn't have a repair kit. So there's no point right now, is there? We don't have to go to the other um, trader. We already have our workbench upgraded. If we want to repair stuff, we just quickly really go to the trader and buy it. We just have to make sure we do enough quests. Oh, I think there's a lot of more clay in there as well. Um, I think we just have to make sure we do enough quests so we can go and repair our tools at the trader. It's going to be cheaper repairing the, uh, the tools with coin than it is with the superior kits because the superior kits are just way too incredibly expensive. It's literally 15 plates that you need for one superior kit. That's um, 30 uh, forged and that's 60 raw titanium. That's a lot. Might not... Oh, ooh, I almost fell down over there. That would have been bad. Let me just go this way around. See, now I'm too heavy. That's why I was talking about these workbenches being in the way. Now that I'm so heavy, I can't even walk through there because I'm going to have to jump through there. Uh, oh yeah, we'll re grab the boxes. Like, I, I forgot last time that I did this time. As the amount of clay we have right now is insane. It's going to make the game so much more interesting now. Okay, this is a flat wheel. We can scrap that. Valkyrie drill, I'm going to put away for now. Technically, I can carry this around instead of the pick, but it's going to make so much noise if you're using that. Okay, do this, do this. Do this. It and then a you have a ton of... Yeah, you have a ton of clay on you. Damn. Okay, now I want to see. With all this clay, what can we do? Sort by type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of clay. We can actually make so much iron as well. I wonder if I shouldn't first make iron and then make the rest. Because we are going to need way more steel for the Horde Knight itself. So over here we can make uh, some iron and then in the other one as well. So I can make 200, 200. That's enough fuel. Uh, so... 200, there you go. Okay, nice. So all of that's crafting up. As soon as that's done, we're going to have to turn that into steel to make more steel plates. Because guys, now to make superior kits, we have to make sure we upgrade this one. That's 100 steel. So that's 200 forged iron right something. there. But before that, I want to make sure we get this one upgraded first. So what I'm, I think I'm going to do is next stream, I'm going to go and first dig some titanium for at least like 20 or so minutes. Because guys, in the first in 20 minutes, in the first uh, 20 minutes of the stream, we got 2,000 iron ore and 500 titanium ore. That's a lot. Just thanks to the Valkyrie drill. What I should probably do is just first go to the trader, repair my knife and the Valkyrie drill, and then go mining. I'm going to be mining at night. Do I really want to do that? That's going to be super dangerous. See, this one's almost damaged. I have to make sure it's all up, uh, repaired. I also want to see... But now we're making iron. I wanted to see if we can't also go and make ourselves some... Bricks. But we're first going to have to wait for this to finish. I need to get to the trader to repair these two. And then at night time, I can go mining. The only problem is mining nighttime in the wasteland. That is very, very dangerous. Hello? Okay, uh, let me just see my skills. Where's my turret skill? Turret, 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 turret. Oh, I don't have anything on this. Two, oh, I have to max this one out as well. Intellect level 10. Yeah, I, I can easily just go to 5 points, 5 points, 5. I uh, just need 5 points to so go in, in here. As soon as I have that, I'll be able to go and place 2 turrets. Then when mining, it's a lot easier to get yourself defended. And you have 2 turrets shooting at both directions, so or at multiple directions. So if a screamer shows up because you're making too much noise at night, you don't have to worry. I want to go and mine by just, just holding down the button with my Valkyrie drill and mining. That thing's insanely OP. Okay. Uh, we have everything on us. Food, water. Shepard's pie is 105. That's the first up all the way. Master, we are not this alone. drink gives you 60. 140. And then one or two of these should uh, do the trick as well. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to uh, call it a stream, yeah? Uh, next time, like I said, we are going to go mining a lot. Well, not a lot. Literally, I don't have to mine hours and hours and hours and end thanks to this drill. This drill is amazing. In fact, uh, I already went for the, um, uh, the minus 69 skill, so we'll be able to break stuff faster too. But guys, thank you so much for coming to watch the stream. I really appreciate your time and effort and stuff supporting the channel. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please remember to hit the like button. It really does help get the video stream out there. The more people like a stream or a video, the more it gets recommended to other people. So yeah, uh, like it, share with your friends, leave your comments down below, uh, get that activity up on the video. And also, if you haven't done so already, please remember to hit the subscribe button for all this content. Guys, we reached 5k, 
at each K, I give away five copies of the game. But at 10K, I'm going to get a tattoo celebrating 10K, but also it's going to be like a zombie. It's going to be a cool design. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be something dumb. It's going to be a cool design I'm going to get, but that's going to be to celebrate 10K subs. So the faster we get there, the faster we get that tattoo. And I think I should actually set like a time limit. The sooner we get to that uh, to 10K, the bigger the tattoo. <laughs> Imagine tomorrow I have 10K and I have to get like my old chest or something. Um, yeah, it's 5.1 now already. So that's really good. Uh, the channel is growing. I love it. I think it's also good that I'm starting to branch out into other games too. That's helping the channel. But you guys, tomorrow night I will be streaming Grounded. Thursday night again, this game. Uh, Saturday or Friday, depends on when. I'll be streaming Borderlands with my brother. He's going to get really busy soon because he has to study for work. Um, they're going to send him for his studies and stuff, for his master's degree and stuff. So I don't know if we might actually put that one on hold for now. Or if I'll just keep doing it on single solo player. Or have you guys join in, do like a multiplayer thing. Uh, but yeah, and then also in 20 minutes, the next Darkest Falls episode is coming out. So be sure to go check that out. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy your evenings and send my love to your families and everyone. I'm hoping, hoping you guys are doing well. You can see I'm tired. I hope you guys are doing well and I wish you guys the best. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.